so much to do. So much to do. So little time. Oh, that was a good build. Yeah. He's still talking. There's so many copyrighted songs. Look at all these. They're hard to see. I wish uh, Twitch marked them a little more easily. All right. So we still got a lot of work to do on this thing. I've been hard at work. In between streams. Making sure all this stuff gets together. Audio check, pretty good. <sighs> a couple minutes early. I, I would have started earlier today, but uh, I had to get food. <laughs> I had to get food. Yeah, I am actually streaming. <laughs> I am actually streaming. Got so much work to do on this thing. Yeah, Twitch has been real messed up lately. I don't, I don't know. Everybody's Twitch has been weird. Everybody's Twitch has been weird. Try to wake up. I was up till...
No worries. No worries. Yeah, I'm after two marathon days, I've got another marathon day today. So my mental faculties are uh I don't know how well I'm gonna do today. If I if I start to like collapse, I'm just gonna like end the stream. But I think I'll be okay. <laughs> me try help me, no do good. Um I try to make this like the thermal imaging enclosure that we did. So it, it has kind of like the same look to it. I'm gonna put the mesh panels on it. And it'll look like cool science thing. <laughs> Cool purple science thing that sits next to the, uh, the graphics card. I think it's screws for this. Where are those? All the way over here. Oh, no. Like way over there. Hold on. I have to actually get up to go get them. We need to design a couple things today. Oh yeah, you can't find can't buy your kids computers because of the price gouging. Sucks, dude. What do you even do about that? Oh fantastic. Just perfect. Barely any threads get to the other side of the ah oh, damn it. I might have to sink the screws in or come up with something else. <clears throat> God, my fingers really hurt. <laughs> like, man, I don't. Uh, whatever I did yesterday, all the all the messing around with hardware. I think it was screwing in those uh the little plates that we made for the this thing. Because I, I was gripping them real hard with my fingers and screwing them in, but man, my fingers are not in good shape today. They don't like me very much. Yeah, I wish I knew a good trick to getting a getting a reasonably priced GPU these days, but... Yeah, it, like... That's alright, we're gonna do mostly computer stuff today anyway. Well, that was computer stuff, but I mean, uh... <laughs> doing, doing stuff with, uh, CAD. Because I have a problem. I have a big problem, chat. Big problem. Oh yeah, I need to I need to I need to gap these holes. Well anyway, just as a test, I want to see how far the screw gets down there. Looks like I gotta reprint this whole thing. I'll start that printing and then we'll start designing the back panel section that I need to make. Cause uh it ain't gonna work without it. I mean Maybe enough threads will get through. This is like, uh, I I'm, I totally cheesed up that screw. I just ruined the uh, Phillips head, and this shouldn't even be the part that friction fits. Yeah. So if I preserve the look that I wanted, only that much thread goes through. <laughs> That's not very good, huh? Is the printer good now? Yeah. Yeah. It works real well. Works real well. Pretty much the only redesigns are on this piece here. What's this song? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, wrong view. There we go. Filler. It sounds like filler.
hardware out of the way. I'm really happy to be doing this, by the way. Um, this whole this whole past three days, this week of project was was spurred spurred on. I guess that's the right word. This whole week of projects basically came about because uh, I had a LAN party to get to, and it got canceled. So in preparing for the LAN party, I was like, you know, it's been a year since I've taken my computer out of its little cubby hole that it sits in. And it's like, there's all kinds of stuff that I need to do to this. The fan was too loud, uh, and I needed to kind of reorganize that. And I wanted to put in some of the ideas that I'd, I had sort of been developing for it. I meant to do all of these upgrades at one point. And then I was going to upgrade the entire computer, so I shelved most of this work. Now we're doing it, and I was under the pretense that I would have to have it done for a LAN party by today. Because early, early, early today, I would have been on the road uh, to a friend's house, and we would have set all our stuff up together, um, four of us, and then played video games. But the problem is, with the typical LAN party setup, uh, that loud fan was really intrusive. Like, it was really, really, really annoying. So the thought is I could have done a three day marathon or two day marathon actually, and done all of the improvements and upgrades, but concentrating on only replacing the heat sink and the fans for the power supply. So that would stay nice and cool and air cooled. And my computer would be a little bit of a mutant, but it would at least not be obnoxiously loud, right? So that's what we started on. Loud fan to show dominance. No, this is too much. This is too much. It was too loud. Um, so the, we started under the pretense that I would have to get it done. And then the land party got canceled. And so now it's like, well, I want to get it done anyway. I want to do this work and get it done anyway. So might as well do it. Um, but we can take a little bit of extra time to do some things correctly. And since I've got a 3D printer now, um, I can come up with some of the solutions for these things and then print them and then put them to the test until they're done. Um, I've got a couple problems here. And one of, the, one of the things is I'm really tempted to put more holes in that carbon fiber so I can run cables down under the bottom plate of the computer. I'm not going to do that even though I'm thinking of the little gremlin in the back. Ooh, excuse me, I burped in the middle of that. The little goblin in the back of my brain is like, do it, do it. Put holes in that I'm not gonna no, I'm not gonna put holes in the bottom piece of this thing unless they are they are you know hardware mounting holes. Um there's a couple things going on here, and the eagle-eyed viewers may notice what's going on. First of all, well, here are the things you may not notice. Here are the things you may not notice. That's gonna be really hard to plug USB into. There is a post right next to the, the plug. And since I want the four feet of the mini ITX motherboard to be on the carbon fiber and not over it like it was in the last one. See, the last one had the motherboard like this. It was, it was just 10 millimeters behind. And I might capitulate and do that. I don't want to. I might have to. I might have to just because of the way, the way it be, just because of the, uh, the ability to plug stuff into those USBs. Because this doesn't, there's not a lot of I.O. on this mini ITX. I've got four USB 3s, one, two, three, four on the other side. And I got a USB, or no, what the hell is that thing? It's USB something or other, and then I got a USB-C. I think they're both USB-C, but I got these things here, and I don't even know if these ports really work. And then these two and those two. I mean, I'm pretty much have to considering the the IO that's on the um USB 3.2 all right that's not confusing at all um i think considering that the new new motherboard the the one that i'm eventually going to go to has even less IO i think i just need to rearrange my desk so that it's just a hub i i think i need a USB 3 i need two USB 3 hubs one for above the desk and one for below the desk and then I can just plug them both into there, and that'll be all of my USB 3 slots, or my USB available USB stuff. And that way I can set this motherboard in inwards a little bit. Because doing that, only putting holes in the carbon fiber helps me out immensely. Otherwise I'd have to drill into one of these beams and then thread a hole. I don't know, I really don't want to do that. I want them to bolt from below, because I found these standoffs. I found these really nice little, nice little drone standoffs. I think they're tarot. 
They're anodized orange, and they're just the right height to put these like half a, half a millimeter above the bottom of the board. So I think I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the plan. I think maybe those two USB slots are write offs. It would be kind of cool if I could find an I/O backplate setup, but I think what we need to do is put another vertical post. I need to cut two more of the vertical posts because I need to have one here and possibly one up front, like all the way over here, so I can put the power and the reset or the power and the um. I have like a separate button that does you know other so two buttons here, and then the cable will go a short length over to there i'll have to maybe trim them to make them to make the run nice and neat um but there's a there's a big problem here and the people might not have seen the big problem the big problem here is that now that i've moved the power supply over i don't have room for the power plug in fact Nice little open spot where the power plug could go is completely covered by the I.O. shield. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't want to alter the graphics card at all. I wanted to keep it exactly the way it was. But it turns out... Turns out they brought me back in. Can't get away for too long. Bringing me out of retirement. It turns out that I am going to, in fact, have to modify it. And I've already, by the way, this ASNI plug, I've already modified. I've, I've cut the, uh, I cut the, the top and the bottom a little bit so that it would kind of fit between the rails. It's kind of cursed. I, you know, I should have given myself more vertical space on this. But um, this cut ASNI, is that ASNI, is that right? I think that's what they're called. Anyway, this cut port, um, we got we to gotta make something that's going to, uh, that's going to mount it. So I'm already 3D printing stuff. The cable that plugs in, the, the, the circuit board that I built to plug in the power supply, sorry, to plug in the um, graphics card, it was covered in Sugru. And I thought, ah, you know, if I need to peel it open, that should be easy to do. No, it's not, it's not. Sugru is very sticky, it turns out. Um, so I took a knife and I, I'd scraped this thing basically all last night. That's why my, my fingers are like, killing me today because i was like scraping and 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 prying it away i was basically being an archaeologist for all these wires uh i took this board and i measured it and i made an enclosure for it and i need to do another revision of the enclosure we'll do that we'll do that first because that, that's only going to take a second and then uh we can we can move on to the other stuff but like i wanted it to look a bit like the enclosure for the uh b -b 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 the enclosure for the thermal imager, because I, I kind of, you know, that's like a the new style, right? Kind of made up a new style. Now I want to roll with it. I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to put mesh panels in there for no reason. I'm just going to put mesh panels in there. What? Uh, yeah, so mesh panels in there. It's going to be purple and black. This is, this is out of, was that a, I just saw tearing. Why is there so much tearing on the camera? Ugh, ugh, ugh. You guys see that? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just because I've got higher frame rate, but I'm seeing like terrible tearing through the. Ugh, ugh. I guess you just gotta live with it. So yeah, I need to move. I need to move this like D-shaped slot up just a little bit. I don't know how I'm gonna do that because it's anchored to the center. You don't see it, okay? Because I see it. I see tearing right across, right banding right across the uh, the center. Um, okay, yeah, so this, this actually, most of the dimensions of this thing work. It's designed to have this thing just clip into place. I gave it 0.2 millimeter extra spacing, so everything kind of worked out nicely. Tried to make it as parametric as possible, I guess. Um, the only thing is that this cable run is off by a little bit. Once I do that, I can put this whole thing together. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. So maybe I could put, like, an LED or something inside of it. But for now, I you know we gotta we gotta move forward with these projects. I can't get too carried away making everything special. So let's fix this. Let's get that printing because the printer's ready to go, and then uh, we'll move on. I'm I'm really annoyed that I need to make a an IO shield for the uh, you know what what do you call it an IO shield for the graphics card because I didn't want to modify the graphics card in any way. I wanted it to be 
able to take another graphics card if this one breaks. But it turns out if this one breaks, I'm just shit out of luck. I'll just plug in the GTX 970 and we'll go with stock graphics off the streaming computer. Ugh. Um, okay, so this hole needs to be centered on the circuit board and not this face. I, I centered it on this face and that moved it away. Let's see, let's see what we can do about that. I think I have a sketch on that face. There it is. Back here. Okay. Sketch on this face and then I think it's this guy. This one here, that dictates that hole. So what do I need to do with that? I need to remove this constraint. Where's the midpoint constraint? Remove it. Can I, uh, no, no, escape. Basically I want to move it over one millimeter, but I don't know how to remove that constraint. Or right click it. Orbit selection set, blah, 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 blah. Can I click on the individual constraint? Double click. What? What? <laughs> Nine seventy doesn't get the latest drivers. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could give it, get it drivers. Why isn't that? Oh, I see. Move copy, but that's not going to remove that constraint. I think. I think I just need to remake it. I don't know what it's going to break though. Uh, here, let's uh get rid of the step where I extrude it and do stuff to it. So we're going to remove the chamfer. That would be, okay. So I did a 10 millimeter box centered on the face just because that uh, it's about five millimeters tall. And I don't know how to, I don't know, how, I didn't know how to drive the, uh, the shape otherwise. So delete that, delete that, delete this. So far, nothing seems broken. Okay, and then, I mean, if I take it from the center, it really should be the center of the circuit board, and I think the circuit board is the center of, not, no, the circuit, the circuit board is not center of this. Yeah, that's a problem. So, I guess I can project the line from the circuit board. So, hit P for project. And then take this corner, and I happened to I, I did a uh, a construction line for the circuit board, and then I offset it by 0.2 in order to create the uh, the housing around it. So those two lines project in, and now I take the center point of those. That's where I'm putting my. So let's make a construction line from here to here. I probably could have projected the midpoint over, huh? So create rectangle. I don't know how to make like like a centered rectangle that moves in one direction. That's not the midpoint that I want, unless that is actually the midpoint. No, no. Is that, is it the, um, mm. Is it the drawing midpoint? I guess that would, that would make sense, actually. You know what? <laughs> Control Z. <laughs> That's right. The circuit board, when I originally made it, was center. It was the center of the drawing, I think. I think that's the center of the axis. So I drew everything around that. So technically, I can just make the box from drawing center, which is right here. Even though if I move, if I decide to move the circuit board in the design, that would really screw things up if I base this on that, but eh, I think I'll be okay. So we'll do this. That's the wrong kind of box. Create rectangle. Center. Here. Uh, 10 by 10. Enter. Was that 10 by 10? I think so. I'm gonna double check. 
Double check the height of the wires. See that they're five millimeter. 970 is not legacy yet. Huh. Let's hope that sticks around. Well, 4.68. Yeah, I'm going to give that five. So that's that. Finish the sketch. Everything, everything's weird. Unview this. View, not that. Not that. View that. And then extrude it. E. <laughs> Deep into the drawing. Then unview the sketch, and I'll just give this the rounded. No, no, no. This and this. Pull those in. Do they look smooth? That's eh, good enough. All right. So now I need to actually. Uh, actually, that might be too too much. Pull that back a little bit. That maybe two and a half. Looks a little better. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's that. And then I need to expand these. I think I can do a press pull on them though. Oh god, it went way too far. Negative point three. There we go. All right, that'll widen those up, and then I need to to get a few more threads out of those because that only sticks through this much. <laughs> if you guys can hold it here, I'll show you. I mean, that's a decent number of threads. I don't know. I think that can work out. That may not be enough threads. But if I sink the screw head, the cap heads in more, it's not going to look good. I can give it maybe like, but if I give it like half a millimeter, it's still going to, you're still going to see the ridge. I want them to be like flush because that's the look. Honestly, I could have made it press fit. That would have been better too. I think... I think I'm gonna leave them at that height. I mean, that's that's three threads, maybe four threads if you're being generous. Four threads in. This is the longest ones that I have of the pan heads. So, yeah, I think I'll right, right. Um, maybe I'll give it. Maybe I'll give it point three. How about that? We'll give it point three, and then I'll have just a little bit more thread. <clears throat> That's an extrusion. I can find that. Where's that extrusion? You, you, no, you, no, you, no, no, no. Yes. So 1.3. Just a little bit more threads. All right, so same process as before. Save as STL. Don't even change any of the settings. Save it, save over. Save as STL, don't change any settings, save over. And then, go to Prusa. Get rid of the stuff that's already on the bed. Go to the folder that I save these in, temp prints, bop, bop. I didn't change the other side. I mean, I guess I could just print this side. I'll print them both at once just because uh, I feel like having more stuff for the printer to do is good. It encourages it to print better. <laughs> so those are on that corner of the of the bed where I know that it's going to print right. Um, yeah, I think just like that. And then I'm just going to hit print. Slice now. Export. Print. That's it. That's all she wrote. You got oh, you guys didn't even see you didn't even see a single fucking thing that I did. God damn it. I didn't know I was stuck on the camera, I'm sorry. I didn't know. That was a production mistake. <laughs> I wasn't looking, I was concentrating. Uh, what I did, I mean basically right click on the object and save as STL, and that puts it in a folder, and then I just went into Prusa, deleted the old ones, put the new ones in, flipped one over. And those are ready to print. There's a, a weird thing with the um, the little mesh panel in here, where 
there's like a gap right here just because of the thin wall. I don't know, can you make a PC from recycled material only? Go do it. I'm not doing it. But yeah, that, that panel and that screw are like sharing a space, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, I, I don't think that'll have too much effect on it. Don't think it'll do too much. I think there'll be enough uh, plastic around it in order to grip that. <sighs> so that's that. Um, how hot does the 1080 FTW get? 1080 FTW temperature. Are my temps too high? Let's see. Oh, that's well under 82C. 8 to 10C. Okay, that's fine. That's fine then. What a hideous computer, I love it. Uh, okay, cool. I was just making sure that, that we wouldn't get close to uh, melting our 3D print, because I'm going to be relying on it heavily. It's going to be kind of a crutch here. So, the problem, the big problem, the big issue that I have is that we've built and laid out this gorgeous case, right? Everything looks really nice. The graphics card could even move over a little bit. Well, not quite. That plug on the side needs to have a loop of, of uh, extension riser cable. So it does need to have, it needs its space over on this side, right? And I'll, of course, I'll try to get, I'll put this back on and we'll take a look at that in a minute. But um, the problem is, when all's, when all's broken down, is that I need power to get into this case. And I don't have room for it. I could look for alternative areas that power would come in. You know, what do you guys think about doing this? And cover over the audio plugs that I never use. Or do it vertically right here. Have AC coming in right next to... Then I'd have to run an AC cable somehow all the way over to the power supply. I mean, that's, that's actually a possibility. I could do that. <laughs> I have a power plug in the middle of my freaking PC. It would run all the way over here under the graphics card. I guess that's not that big of a deal. I could do that. But then I'd have to figure out all the other mountings for the graphics card. And the way that I did it in the past was I had a piece of the mesh panel and I just bent a little tab out and then I used screws and washers to hold those two little ears on on both sides. It was, it was rather ghetto, let's be honest. And I'm okay with a solid panel being back there. We'll make sure that there's mesh up here. But if a solid panel's back there and this is open, that's okay. This, this cooler throws air out on the sides. These coolers throw air out on the sides. The whole top is going to be mesh. And so that'll be a, where a lot of the air turbulence is going to go. Now that we have a solid bottom panel, uh, used to have a mesh bottom panel and that would allow air to get in and out. I'm going to be some pinch points for air here, but I guess if this whole thing was open, then yeah. I'm not going to do what you specifically want me to do because you're curious about something. Go figure out if you can do it. <laughs> I, I got my stuff to worry about. I've already bitten off way more than I can chew with this project, and now i got to deal with that. <laughs> I'm not going to take on your internet challenge. Um, yeah, so this sucks. But yeah, we can we can get around this, and I, I think what I can do is just 3D print stuff. I also took this thing off of the off of the motherboard. I don't know what it's doing. I th I think it just looks good. Maybe I, maybe it provides a little stability, like across the uh, the motherboard. Not really though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And then oh yeah, and then the one of the things that I want to do is measure this and get this into FreeCAD or into into Autodesk, into Fusion 360 so that uh, I can 
surround it by 3D print so it looks a little bit more like, you know, a, a component in this computer. It looks a little bit less like a piece of rubber that's going to just collect dust and look awful because that's what it looks like right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm tempted to pick off all of the, um, all the rubber that I put on this, but I don't think that'll come off cleanly. It did come off cleanly in this area right here. But yeah, the company that makes this actually sells a capacitor bank where it's like two caps in a plastic enclosure. It'd be cool to make it look, uh, look similar to what I'm doing with the, the black mesh panels and the purple print. So I'm gonna think about doing that with that thing. But in the meantime, I gotta figure out an IO shield. Uh, I wasn't able to find specific IO shield dimensions anywhere, but I did find this. And it's not exactly my graphics card, but it is close. I don't, I, I wasn't able to find like, I don't know if you guys with your, with your CAD resources, I don't think you'll be able to do this better than I would but finding a, a 1080 FTW 3D model, because I want to build two things around the graphics card, and I'm tr gonna try, I'm gonna struggle, I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to keep it as simple as possible. Farhan Iqbal, you're subbing finally, dude. Finally got a payment method to work. Hell yeah, man, thank you. What CPU? I don't know, man, it's, it's whatever old Intel I have. It's not, this isn't a new computer. This is my normal gaming computer that we're, we're redoing. <laughs> we're redesigning. Farhan Iqbal, let's put you up on the board. Thank you so much for subbing, man. Yep, going in by the St. Wiggly. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that name. And YouTubel. Hey, YouTubel's there. Let's look at YouTubel instead of the name on the left. Amazon Pay? Man. It's all right. If you got to struggle that hard to get payment in, it's, uh, I, I'm not going to fault you for not, for not subbing. It's okay. That's awesome, though. I'm glad you got it to work. You got your name up on the board. Okay, so. So, so, so. I don't have a good idea of what the dimensions are of the back panel. All things considered, I could probably come up with it myself. I could sit here with calipers and, you know, get it, get it just right. Um, my thought is the only way for me to put... You gifted a sub, too. Thank you for gifting a sub. We got space herpy. <laughs> the worst kind of herpy. Because it, it came from space. Basically the Andromeda strain. Any minute now, the Twitch API is going to catch up to this. Any minute now. Or not. Come on, Twitch. You could do it. Give me that data. Let my board do its work. There it goes. Gift sub from Farhan Iqbal. Going to Space Herpy. Thank you so much. Didn't even catch the cart. It's up here. Go. Space herp. <laughs> Keep me away from Mr. Thick. I got bad news for you. You're near Pornhub. Actually, this is not that bad of an area. <laughs> Welcome to the board. Thank you, Farhan. Appreciate that. All right, so back to what I was talking about. 
I don't have a good idea of where this IO is supposed to go. We got a picture here. Which I would assume has the right dimensions. I assume they're getting this from their other CAD. So I can take this into fusion. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can take this into fusion. I can scale it. And then I can trace it. That could be one method that I use in order to make the back panel. So there's that. And then there's getting the power plug in there. And the only reason that I'd redo the, the, the back panel is so that I can get the power plug near the power supply. And if I do that, I can use a nice thick piece of plastic there, which would be supported on all the sides. Um, and then when I plug in the power and I unplug it, it needs to be uh, strong enough that it's not going to come out uh, or break, right? <sighs> so, gaming time coming soon, not really. Not really. This is going to take a little while, and I hope we can breeze through some of these things in order to get this done. Because I kind of I kind of still want to hold the SSD somewhere, too, and we haven't even drilled holes on the bottom of this thing yet. Because I don't know where we're doing that. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, I need to design something that's going to function as the back panel of the PC. It's basically going to be something that drops into the rail slots and relies on those in order to keep everything stable. Of course, the top of this thing isn't screwed in, but it is screwed into the power supply, so that's actually pretty stable. And then the top of the, the top rail of the case and the bottom rail of the case, and then I'll have another vertical span, vertical span that will uh, will hold it in. So it'll be a big drop-in plate panel thing. Um, and then the the top of the case, of course, is going to be mesh. But I need to figure out the placement of the card. I need to figure out how that's going to go in. Then that'll give me an idea of the distance to the back, and we can make the back bracket that'll hold on the back of the card, too, so that I have both ends braced for winter. Uh, and the ASNI hole, and then screw holes, which can be friction threads. Yeah, I think I have an idea of what I want to do. I think everything's going to work out pretty nicely in spite of chat being fucking naysayers. Uh, so let's, uh, I guess, start in on that. I, I just wish I could find, like, the 10 series uh, IO shield dimensions. NVIDIA. Oops. No, not A10 series. Not slash 10 series. Yeah, there's like specs, but none of them are giving me like the specific IO and, and where the dimensions are. I mean, obviously I can measure it, but... Yeah, I don't care about the NVIDIA shield. <laughs> What's up, Matic Wave? Okay, so this is the closest thing that I have. So if I take this picture and I import it into Fusion, I can possibly get an idea of what I'm building. First things first, let's do all of the outlines of what we're building. Now we did modifications to this. This is currently printing right now. These are all improvements to my gaming computer and I cannot, I cannot stress how incredibly frustrating it is to explain the project to every single new person that comes in. <laughs> uh, I.O. or graphics... Uh, GFX power I.O. I.E.L.D. Shield air cool. I have a lot of computer part files in here, so I need to, I need to keep them organized-ish. Do it by file naming, but it'll make a folder soon. We don't have a pro project command, which is why I need to constantly explain myself. It's so frustrating, though. Because, like, my projects are weird. They take a long time for me to explain. I mean, for Christ's sake, we're redoing my gaming computer, and I need to build stuff for it. There, there's the project. All right, Um. so how big is this thing going to be? 
Well, this thing is going to sit inside of this stuff. And it's going to go all the way out to the edge of the card. I'm going to actually measure it on the front side if I feel like it. I want to make sure that I leave just a little bit of space between the motherboard and the graphics card because that cable, the, the cable, the, the riser, the really expensive 3M riser that I got, that needs to fit in that space. Soon the project is going to be pooping. That's what I'm brewing. But for now, I'm going to continue to work on this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up as an initial extrusion to the size that I want it to be. Then I'm going to do the little the little poke out bits, the little um, blocks that are going to fit inside of the rail. And we'll get it to the, to the, what is it, 10 millimeter width of the rail. We'll make that into a big solid block. And then from there, we can figure out where the screw holes are, where the IO holes are, what you know, how we're going to specifically put all of this stuff and arrange it on that on that blank square face. Uh, I figure that would be the best way to go about this. Center of the panel is not going to be incredibly relevant. Everything's going to be a little bit asymmetrical on this thing, isn't it? Well, I mean, I guess I guess vertical center is going to be important. I'm trying to conceptualize how I'm going to put together this part so that if I need to modify it in the future. I don't blow up everything. Um, so yeah, overall outside dimension. Our total span height. 46.44. I'm not going to make that 46.5. I don't trust that. It's got weird dimensions just because of the, the, way, uh, the way I did the height. All right, 46 and a half. I guess I can kind of trust that. I kind of want to set it in a little bit from that. Because I have a feeling when I do this... Actually, wait a minute. I have another part that I can reference. I have another part that I can reference. I think. Mm. Oh, yeah, I did that. I guess I could have grabbed those. Uh, let's see. Parts, 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 parts. Oh, I already have that. Oh, cool. I didn't know I made that already. <laughs> cool. So we could just grab that and modify it. Oh, sweet. We'll do that later. I forgot that I built this thing, and I even made it purple. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to frame that. This is a block of two giant capacitors that I have to put somewhere in the computer because the super duper ultra teeny tiny power supply that I designed uh, out of uh, power power supply modules, these, they require two huge capacitors. And I didn't know in the previous versions of this computer, I knew that it would be surrounded by metal and I didn't really trust uh, 300 volts DC to stay away from metal. So I potted it in, uh, in rubber, sort of a, a silicon rubber. So I, I rebuilt the part because I knew it would have to go in the future build that I was making. So that's that's something good. All right, so we got that. I'll just leave that open as a reminder. Now, somewhere in here, I do have a part that I made previously. But I don't think it's in any of these. I might have deleted it. Yeah, that's 2020 rail stuff. None of that's relevant to this. Admin project. No. I might have gotten rid of it. I don't know if I can, like, look at... Can I look at my archived projects from here? No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Darn. I already, I, uh, bleh, I already, uh, is, is what I was just saying. I had already, man, that's a really easy one to just make into a one big, just, uh, it sounds like a seal barking. Um, I had all these dimensions worked out and I had 3D prints like that I had done in the past out of other material um, in order to fit smaller fans to this power supply. I have like tons of, of, of smaller Noctua's. I was gonna put like like six or eight of them on this thing. Um, I don't know what happened to my test block of that. 
or the 3D prints of that. I looked around for them. Uh, couldn't find them. Don't know what happened to them. Maybe they're in here. But those, if I had those files, then I would be able to build that, uh, that plate faster. Now let's see what we got in the fan bin. Bin of fan. Fan bin. Fan bin. There's lots of configure to make it smoother running and updating. You mean the uh, the 970? Yeah, I haven't been doing much gaming with the 970. That's just my stream computer uh, card. This is like all of the old fans that I replaced with Noctua over the years. And this these would have been the fans that I was going to use on the power supply. I had lots of these. And I was going to set them up on these grid panels. And then they would interface with the grid, and actually, if I can find them, I'd be tempted to use them. That doesn't look like I got them. I'm not in here. Let me just take a quick, uh, quick look around the block and see if I can find them. Where would they have gone? They'd probably be, like, in the, the way back of the shop, so. But then again, I could have, uh, I don't know. I don't think I threw them out. I don't think I quite, I don't think I was quite that hedonistic to throw them out. I think they might be in one of these bins with miscellaneous parts that's over here by the 3D printer that's on, and I'm going to burn myself if I'm not careful around it. That's the last thing that I need after all the work that we've done on these PCs and shit, is just to like fucking straight up touch, just grab the 3D printer and burn myself. Oh god! The axis almost punched me in the face just then. There's all of Octogy's tablet stuff. Waiting on the battery for those. Okay, I'm trying to get back into like the very, very back of the storage here in the shop. See if I can't find what... Ah, it doesn't look like it. Ugh, I don't know what happened to the little panels. I'm going to run into them as soon as we finish this project, right? Yeah, they're not in there. Okay. Alright, I don't know where they are. Darn. I, I would have liked to show them to you guys because like, I've done a lot of work on this project previously. In the background, just kind of tootling around with uh, concepts for these things. And I, I made a file in Fusion with a pattern on it, a pattern grading on it, and <laughs> it like blew my computer up because, I don't know, Fusion doesn't like, oh here, I found one. I found two. I found two of the panels. Ah, oh, sweet. There they are. Okay, yeah, look at all this stuff. I don't know, maybe I should use these. To cool the power supply. So, here are the panels that I'm thinking I might want to use instead of the 60 millimeter Noctua's, because these will fit within the size of the computer. They're still Noctua's, they're not gonna make all that much noise. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be a fair sight better than a Dell laptop fan in a heatsink running 12 volts when it should be, when it's a 5 volt fan. This little 5 volt fan here, I was running at 12 volts and it would make a screaming noises. So, dull whooshing noises from these panels, it's totally acceptable. <laughs> totally acceptable. You guys think I should use these? What's the worst that could happen? I have a circuit board that these plug into. And then I need to make an adapter to go over to the power on this thing. And then all these would be running. It's a lot of fans. <laughs> but yeah, these will fit in the, in the rail and have just a little gap for, a, for an extra rail in the center. And then I can have in and out. <laughs> I can have an input and an output. They're less noisy because this thing sounds like a, a freaking vacuum cleaner. Why do I have to keep answering these same questions? Yeah, the Noctua fans are, are better materials, better bearings, and then a little bit more thought into the design of the fins. 
That's basically it. I mean, it's just a slightly different fin shape. I think that's really where their, their whole advantage is. Okay. I am tempted to use these, even though the 60 millimeters would have better peace of mind, because these are going to move a lot more air when push comes to shove. I don't know. I, I, I can show you these things in situ, but I don't have a vertical bar to go in there. Actually, I might. Let's see. I might have a vertical bar to go in there. Let's see what I've got. I think I cut a ton of these things, so... Yeah! It's gotta be... It's gotta be anodized. It has to match the look. It's gotta be the clear anodization, not the, uh, not the black anodization. There's a lot of dust and crap in here, so you guys gotta bear with me. What's fun is with this computer when, um, oh, that's like a really uneven cut. When, when I am, when I'm gaming, because I'm a gamer, uh, when I'm gaming, you know, gaming, because I'm a gamer. When I'm gaming, uh, if I turn on the overclocking utility for the card, it ends up running the fans a little bit more because of the curves that I put in. And when it does that, the rest of the computer gets much cooler. <laughs> it actually works to cool the rest of the computer, at least in the previous configuration. All right, yeah, so there's that extra vertical span. Um, and I got more of them too, which is good because we're gonna need one. We're gonna need one right about here. And that'll hold up the, the block that we're going to make that will do the I.O. shield and the, and the AC input. Is there a point at which silicon gets too cold and can't operate? No. Nope. Nope. I mean, yeah, absolute zero, because that means nothing is moving. I don't know if electrons flow at absolute zero. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Somebody will come in and correct us. So yeah, those two I could use as the fans, and they're it's a little oh, it's a little excessive. What up? Okay. What I was gonna do is design um, little brackets that would go on these, but I guess I guess if we're just trying stuff out, I might as well start by trying out the things that I've already spent. A lot of time on. So get these out of the way. And then we gotta, I gotta figure out wiring these because I've got three and three and I made little circuit boards for these and I gotta find those little circuit boards that have all the plugs. Otherwise we're gonna have to make like just a big, a big giant adapter, like a big clown pipe that I need to put on this thing. I really gotta use the bathroom guys. So I gotta do a BRB really quick. I gotta do a BRB really quick.
All right. Pause. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so I found those two panels. Uh, we might as well install them and see, see how confident I am in, in them. Uh, I can pull off the entire side of the computer, or I can just pull the top and drop them down, but I need to get into that rail, so we might as well pull off the whole side. The wonderful thing about the Maker Beam is that I can do that. I can just remove the side of the panel and then insert these fans. Now, <laughs> my only problem with this is I don't know what I have, where the 3D files are for these things. And I guess I, if I ever need to rebuild them, I can rebuild them, but like... I don't, <laughs> I, I don't like not having sort of like a backup on the parts. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't tilt this up on its side because nothing is attached currently. Oh yeah. yeah that's going to change the nature of how we do this then. Uh, let's put that one back in. So, let's get rid of this thing. Yeah, I don't know why the ex expectation would be that I would somehow have a nice graphics card, because nobody can buy them these days. And since consoles aren't exactly far ahead, the 1080 is perfectly fine to play everything these days. This is not a new computer build, after all. We're just working on my old computer. The 1080 really was supposed to go to my streaming computer, and I would have upgraded the streaming computer, the gaming computer, with all the, the good stuff. But, while I have another motherboard and processor and RAM ready to go, I can't get an air cooler that will fit inside of this case. So I can't upgrade the regular computer. It has to be all at once. All right, slide that thing in there and get this thing into here. What's going on? Is that actually, oh yeah, it's actually, actually did find the right spot. So, panel here. So these are these are the panels that I previously made, and I, I made them in Fusion 360, and all these little hexagonal holes. This is before I knew, first of all, this is before I knew about the pan head screws, which I should have used. This is also before I, um, I knew about archiving, or, or rather doing a milestone in the files so that the entire history of this thing wouldn't be constantly saved. Oh boy, what's going on with that? Gross. Weird 3D printing bullshit going on here. Well anyway, so yeah, this is this is like even with older settings on my 3D printer too. So, uh, either way, if, if I use these panels you know, I've already got them built. I've already got them built up. I would just need to figure out the wiring for them. So, I don't know. It should be it should be possible for me to use these. And then, at least the computer doesn't look like a giant mutant. Although that's not actually fitting there. Oh, there's that bird that I hate. <laughs> There's a bird that just literally just makes peeping noises. You know, I think I had modified... I had a version of these I thought that I modified to have that circuit board in them. Because there's, I actually built a circuit board for all of the, the wiring things. But all right, let's just, let's just fit these in and just kind of evaluate them. So that's going to have to go like here. There's a bird that doesn't sing a song. It literally just makes this loud chirp. That's the only sound that it makes. Just beep, beep. 
I hate it. <laughs> it's all I could pay attention to now. All I hear is beeping. The beep is... Okay, that one's not... No, 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 no. Please don't ruin my anodization. I, I need it to actually get tight when it, uh, when it's at 90 degrees instead of like what it's doing right now, so. All right, come on. Come on. Out you go. There you go. Next. Are they all going to be like that? I hope not. What I'm doing is Maker Beam allows you to put a bolt into the extrusion and then that can tighten to the side of another bolt at a nice clean right angle. I'm trying to take advantage of that. There we go, that one's... It's nice and tight at the right spot. I wonder if they design the... if they manufacture these to, to get tight at just the right angle. Wait, are these going to cover the whole span? It doesn't seem like the halfway point, to be honest. Maybe it is. We'll find out. And actually, this shouldn't slide down without the, with this corner cube here, so i got to get the corner cube out. Ugh. Oops, well, there goes one piece of hardware. That was a drop. Welcome to the Yak Shaving Stream, where I, your host, will shave a yak... One hair at a time. Actually, that would be plucking a yak. That's what it feels like, though. It feels like we're plucking a yak. All right, just a millimeter in. See, I could try it with these first, and then push comes to shove. I can design either design a different panel or I can make uh, a bracket that'll hold the 60 millimeter fans on because those 60s are going to move a hell of a lot more air. Actually, that gets it out of the way. All right, it's so like that. And then this, like this, it's going to be a bitch to wire. Oh, the bolts sticking out of this one might be no bueno. They might all have to move in the same direction. Yep, they do. They do. These will not fit. The cap heads don't fit. And the size of these bolts is too much for me to use. Can I use the, um, the pan heads instead? Let me check to see if the pan heads will work. Uh, the laptop screw kit is one of my favorite uh, hardware kits. Because these, these guys right here are very clean looking in your design. Yeah, it's a very precise shaver. It's a very small blade. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the problem is I don't have the pan heads that are long enough. These are the pan head screws, and they've got this nice wide top. And they're very flat, but oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the size of the hole in the Noctua is the size of the, the, the head. All right, so that doesn't work. That doesn't work. I gotta flip them over. So all the fans are gonna be moving air outwards from the heat sink. I was gonna have three in and then three out to try to do like a like a circulation thing, but I guess they're all gonna be facing outwards because the way Noct 2s are designed, I'll show you this in just a second here. The way the Noct 2s are designed. La 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 la. Hold on. There you go. Um The way the Noctuas are designed is that on one side, you have this sunken in screw profile, which would be great if I had a pan head that was exactly that size. But on the other side, you have this flat thing with absolutely no inlet on it. So unfortunately, I am stuck having the fans face this direction, which means airflow is going to move outward from the heatsink. Which is, I mean, you know, that's pretty much how they design stuff anyway. That's how they, that's how OEMs design stuff anyway, so whatever. 
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Take a drill to the hole and carve it. Carve what out? This thing? I don't trust myself to do that. Holy shit. No way, man. That's like inviting disaster. How in the world? Why did I wire them like this? I did one, two, skip, and then fan speed. This one is one, two, fan speed, and then skip. Huh. Strange. Anyway, um, yeah, so I gotta get these in here the right way, and then we'll, we'll place this into the thing. Wiring it's going to be a huge astronomical pain in my ass. Because I gotta make it neat and clean and, and fit inside of there. But then I'll have a bunch of little tiny fans. I guess I can also do a sound test with these, if I can get them all wired up. Yeah, this is the cleaner fan setup, but it's using these dinky little fans, but six of them. They should hopefully be quieter than the vacuum cleaner that was there before. However, I still don't know if I can trust... And I built this so long ago that I really would want to redo this, given, given what I know now. I don't know where the files are for these, and uh, they also break my computer when I try to use them, so... On head of Dremel. What, to shave the yak? No, none of this is... Redesigning my gaming piece. What part of that implies that any of this stuff is new? Think, chat. Think. I've given you all the clues you need. My hands are, like, pre-worn uh, out from doing this stuff. All week. But I want to get this thing together. In spite of it being janky, I can always redesign these panels. I just want to get them... Get him into the system, you know? Mm hmm. Chat, why are you guys being so fucking weird? Why are you guys being weird? You guys are creeping me out. Yeah, no, I'm not going to cut. I'm not going to cut into the fans. I'm not going to do that. I don't trust myself to do that. I don't know if they make it with the, the inset bit on the other side, but this isn't a problem that you guys... <sighs> All right. Common good airflow is in through the front, out through the back. Uh... Yeah, this is a little different, though. No. Nah. He's up on the board, I think. This is a... This is... A, I mean, people are coming in thinking that this is, like, a PC building stream. And it is, but... I think all the lessons that you guys have from building PCs are uh, not going to apply. This is, this is a different animal. See, here's the thing about this, is that these are now directly in 
the oh man i did this wait no i didn't do it reverse i can just reverse it i need to poke the wires into the side here the problem with this is that these are exactly up against the heatsink, and so i don't know if they're really going to be doing good stuff there i don't really know if they're going to be doing good stuff there because they'll be pulling directly from the fins and there's no air gap between them there probably should be a little bit of distance it's not going to fully utilize all the fins but it might be okay it might be okay because it might pull a volume of air that that is uh, appropriate. This is all stuff that I did a while back, so. What I'm doing is I'm poking the wires into the, into the, the space between these two. Yeah, I think that's generally the, the, the idea is to draw hot, hot air. <laughs> Draw hot air away from the part and force it away instead of blowing cold air onto part of the part. Because remember, these, these are only focused in the direction that they're blowing. The, uh, the inlet is very... it's just sort of like whatever. It, there is no cone of inlet. Okay, I'm just packing the wires in here just so that they're not in the way for assembly. We'll have to figure out the wiring later, which is not a good policy. <laughs> it's it's better policy to actually just figure out the uh, the wiring when you can. But what what are you doing? What are you doing? Jeez! Immediately got stuck and started fighting me, and then the wiring started to come out. Get in there. Okay. Okay, so there are the two fan things in place with absolutely no consideration for wiring at all. I'm going to put this all together and just see if we feel okay about this. I mean, it does look pretty spiffy. It looks good, but looks aren't everything, chat. I mean, looks are a lot of things, but they're not everything. Looks will only get you a better job, more raises, higher pay, uh, uh, love in life, and and uh, fulfillment of your of your your grandest desires. But but they're not everything. <clears throat> Did I drop two? I think I dropped two. Damn it. I gotta get him. Hold on. All the way down to the ground. The two countersunk bolts that I don't see. I see something. That's not... No, that's not it. That's not even... This is like a plastic screw. What did... Where did that even... What the f... Okay. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't see them. Wait. I see one. That's one of them. Uh, number two. Number two. The larch. Aha! Got him. Got him. Got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Okay. All right, all right. So. Relying on stuff that I designed previously and abandoned because it's not really all that usable. Maybe it is. Maybe I can get away with it. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty weird sounding. But those panels with the fans in them, it is a much cleaner look for a new era. However, the fans are right up against 
they are right up against the heat sink in this case. Which might not be all that bad, but it could pose its own problems. I don't, I don't know whether to trust chat. Either way, this is tantamount to blowing the air onto the aluminum, but I don't know what your sources are. Don't trust chat. I am, listen, <laughs> you don't got to tell me twice. It'll be like inlet through this little area right here and then outlet through here. These fins aren't going to get any airflow over them. And it's just going to be concentrated to these fins that share profile space with the actual inlets of the fans because they're pressed right up against that so i mean all things considered cutting the the bottom of the board and moving this heat sink out a little bit from there would would actually help of course moving this out this way means less room for the graphics card cable and stuff like that so that's not a good good thing but, all right, um, considering the way that these panels were built, I can take the lessons learned from these and apply them to what we're about to build. And I forget what the dimensions were. I probably should have measured these before putting them in, but that's as much as I can trust them. I don't know if I archived them in, in Fusion, because I definitely drew them with Fusion. I can't, no, Schmeid, we already went over. I can't flip every other fan. I can't do that. I wish I could. I was going to have it three in, three out. But the problem is that um, the, the, the fasteners don't fit up against the heat sink. Hello, Mr. Gamer. Greetings from Berlin. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Yeah, I'm kind of annoyed that I don't have... Um, Media libraries, steering wheel stuff. Everything else has been has been archived. So I don't know what happened to those panels. <sighs> yeah, it would have been an it would have been an admin project. I don't think it's burn the subs three now. I would have to go into my account and, and look at my archived stuff. Yeah, I mean, I guess just uh, running this, running with it, and seeing if it works. We got other work to do, though. We got other work to do, so we need to actually figure out what the dimensions are of the panel that I'm going to put in. Yeah, that doesn't work for the way that I've designed these. I built these in a specific way to do a specific job, and... I can't, I can't really bolt them from the outside unless I drill through the whole thing and then there's just not enough support material for it. No, 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 no. Uh, let's, let's, I'll try it like this. This is very compact. Um, I mean, th this is going to be open to air at the top, so I guess those top fins can bleed a little bit of air out. And then, I, I mean, six fans should be moving quite a bit of CFMs here. I just hope it's not going to be amazingly loud. Is that a JoJo emote? What is that? <laughs> Oh no, it's just the guy in a trench coat. I don't know why. I in the low pixel form, it's all smashed together. Um Okay. Keep seeing flies. I, I don't know if I have flies in here or if I'm going insane. Stop! Stop trying to solve all my problems. Stop it. We're rolling with the problems today, alright? Jeez. All right, so measuring this. God, it's like... <laughs> what if you did this? What if you did that? What if you did this? What if you did that? What if you... What if? What if? No. 46 and a half. 46 and a half by... Uh, we're going to give this... 160. Let's see what 160 looks like. Eh, come on. 
That's like right up against the edge of where I have the graphics card sitting. Let's actually determine what the um what the real spread is here. What the really reals is. Dude, it's like I can only take so much of of people like making me evaluate inane shit over and over again. All right, so I did a nice soft bend around a dowel for this so that they weren't so that they weren't like pinched and and you know breaking, which means I need even more space for it. I could put this on standoffs, but I don't think I don't think I need to. And it just bugs me how much room this takes up. I do wish that this could be a little bit more narrow, but I think 3M did the best they could to make the best product they could, and they did a great job. It's all shielded and stuff. It's like we're engineers without managers. Yeah, and then I got to put on the manager hat and fucking yell at you guys. All right. It's down here. I'm the one who's usually credited with having too much inane brainstorm. I'm not allowed to speak to certain people because we come up with these ridiculous fucking ideas for stuff we want to make. We're too brainstormy. And then I got to I gotta contest chat. That was the same damn thing. Yeah, we're running out of space on this. Jesus Christ. How did that happen? How did that happen? I guess I probably could have made the case larger, but I, I chose these dimensions a while ago. So this is like butting almost right up against the power supply, and the power supply is almost butting right up against the fan. I, I hate this. Uh, <laughs> like, I wish I could put a piece of plastic there, because it's like 300 volts DC is hanging out right fucking next to my graphics card, which is appreciating in value. So this is pretty much where it's got to be. Pretty much where it's got to be. Okay, so we know where that's going to be. And then there's room for this here if I don't have the tabs. And that, of course, will be coming from the outside. So it'll only stick through just a little bit. So that means, in order to... Why was there a screw falling noise? Oh boy. I have to like shake out all this hardware to make sure that there's no hidden hidden fasteners. Okay, so yeah, 160 millimeters gets us just about to the edge of the, uh, the CPU. So 160 millimeters for the first piece. That wasn't a drop. Dropping it into the graphics card is not a drop. Or the motherboard or wherever. You know better than that, Lord Squeak. Come on, man. I know you know better than that. You've been around for a long time. Why would I want to reverse voltage in Octua? It's a brushless DC fan. They don't work like that. They're not motors. Well, they are motors, but they, they're not like tr they're not like brushed universal DC motors. Totally different totally different technique. You can argue all you want, but you don't know the rules here. A drop is when a piece of hardware hits the floor. No other drops are counted because otherwise I can do this and it would count. And then I'd have a million drops and it doesn't make any sense. Come on, chat, use your brains. You guys are better than this. I know you are. Stress me out today. All right, so um, 160 by 47 and a half. Man, you guys just like are like, <sighs> I thought I trained you better. 160 by 47 and a half, and we determined that two millimeters was the size of the of the uh, stuff that's going to fit into the rail. 
So what I'll do is I'll actually do, I'm not gonna do an outer radius cause that's not, that's not gonna give me the right, uh, what do you call it? I mean, I guess I can do it. I, I can do an outer radius on one side and then the other side I have to cut. Actually, yeah, okay, so we'll do this and then I'll do an outline and then I'll make that two millimeter. That should be enough to get it into the rails. And then on these ends, I can just drop a box like that. And I figure I'm looking at it as if I'm looking at it right now, which actually is wrong. Well, okay, but we can look at it from the other side when we make all the holes for all the stuff. But for, for this side, we're looking through the computer, through the back panel. So that's that, finish that sketch. Now I'm gonna take that and we're going to extrude it, the whole thing, well, this part at least, and we're gonna make that 10 millimeter deep. And I actually could do it from both sides if I really felt like it. I could do it from both sides, five millimeters, and then I could do the, yeah, maybe you should do it that way. We'll do a little symmetrical thing. So we'll extrude this and we'll do two sides, distance, Oh no, uh, symmetric distance of five, giving us a total of 10 millimeter thickness. Sickness for the thickness. And so what we do is we view our sketch again, and then I take this, this, and I extrude it again symmetrically, and the thickness this time and I probably should base this on the thickness that I did for the other one, but this time is going to be this half of the size of the inner rail. The inner rail is, we determined three millimeters, so one and a half. One and a half, all right, so there's our plate. And I hate the look of the metal, so I'm actually gonna change the color of this thing. And we're going to, uh, let's see, do the appearance. And then I'm going to, instead of just trusting it to do bodies and components fully, because it doesn't, it always messes up. I'm going to click on faces and then back into bodies and components. And then I'm going to choose, we're going to do matte gray just because it's easier to work with. I'm going to try it again. See that? Remove. There we go. Now all the faces are the same thing. Uh, I don't know why Fusion is like that. Close that window. All right. So this is the beginnings of our panel. We don't need it to be this thick for the graphics IO shield, but it's nice to have it this thick for the power connector, right? So the question is, do I have a 3D model of an ASNI connector? And I think the best place to go would probably be GrabCAD. I don't know if I'm logged in or not. I don't think I am, but anyway, uh, ANSI, ASNI, ANSI, this is not right. Actually, DigiKey might be the better place to go. Yeah, what's the, hey! Oh, that's not quite, that's not quite the right model. God damn it. I guess you can't really trust that either, because it's like all over the place. All right. Um. Yeah, let's try DigiKey. Digikey.com. And then we're looking for, let's get some info on the plug that I got. <gasps> Excuse me. Had a Mr. Beast burger. I don't think I like, I don't think I like smash burgers. Maybe it's just the Mr. Beast. I see, yeah, maybe that's what I'm looking for. Maybe it's just the Mr. Beast uh, griddle. Cause you're tasting a lot of the griddle when you have a smashed burger and it i don't know it had a it had it not only did it have a weird flavor it tasted like like pure salt like it tasted like nothing oh, like i was eating nothing but salt what the fuck was that yeah there's a screw like attached to my hand that like fell out i don't i don't know where i'm or I'm resting my hands on this table, but like this really cheap screw just fell off. And geez, okay. Anyway, this is why we try to keep organized around here. Um, Underwriter Labs, load neutral, ground. I mean, maybe that's a part number, but I think I yeah I think what I'm looking for is just IEC panel mount because I got the countersunk screws in it and everything. 
we could set this in a little bit or I could try to find a try to find a new one that hasn't been filed down. IEC panel mount. Uh CAD model. Power entry. Bum, bum, bum. Of course, there's like 10,000 of them. Let's see. I want a photo. Just apply it. There we go. There we go. This is pretty much it. Close. It's close. That kind I don't like because they start to... These start to get loose after a little while unless you're building them into like a the specific kind of panel it goes in, that it goes into, right? I think I have a screw loose. I'll show you a screw loose. I'll show you a foot loose. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that the dimensions are going to be compatible. I think oh, that's a neat looking one. Uh, yeah, I think I think maybe this is our best bet. This one right here that looks pretty close to what we got. Give me that CAD model. Please be in a format that I can... Ah, uh, damn it. Not you, trace parts. Why are they all trace parts now? Let me get the model without you tracking me. Oh, you can sign in and register for free so that we can track all of your behavior. Bastards. All right, fine. I gotta find a different one. Did we already do this song and dance? Didn't I already do this? Well, we're into page two. I'm not proud of it, but that's where we are. Page two. I could probably use a variety of these, and they'll have the same dimensions. There we go. Step file. Directly from DigiKey. Is that so hard? Fucking trace parts. Come on. Hey, sign up for an account on our website. Shown folder. So, extract that zip. And then I'm gonna make... I guess I have to do, like, a new file. Or I, I can import it directly. I can go to... Wait a minute. Didn't I... I might already... I might already... I might already have this part. I might already have this part, chat. I think I do. That's right. You could see slowly the realization in my head that I've already been here. Where's the computer folder? There it is. Fans, pumps, radiator, rails, stream PC, water cool fittings. Stream PC? No. Damn it. Game PC. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's the part. There's the power connector. Uh, I already had it. I already had it. In you go. All right. So this is going to go. Um, Hello. There we go. Close that. All right. This is going to go up against this area over here. Tilt that 90 degrees, move this thing over like this, and it's actually, uh, yeah, it actually can go pretty close over there. Now, we want neutral to be up, facing upwards. So if neutral's facing upwards, that means that this needs to go 180 degrees around from where it is right now. Once we got that, I'll just move this up and out. What? Oh, this is wrong. That was the wrong control. Kind of out. I'll just move it kind of like up and out. Look okay. So now, in order to get the cutout... Now, see, the thing is, I want to cut out, but I, I don't want it to be exact. That's the thing that kind of annoys me about AutoCAD, is that I can't... Um, or Fusion, rather. Is that I can't... Uh, I can't do... Like, the body intersection, and then give it a little radius. But what I want to do is I want to meet these, this, this panel here up with this. So I can just do a move, and then I can select a point-to-point -point move. 
I'm going to move the component, this component, and the point I want to select, the origin. The problem with the point-to-point -point move is that it needs a point to go to, so that might actually be tough for me to do. I could just measure it and then move it that amount, but it's like... Yeah, there's no point down here for me to move it to, so I guess that's not going to work. This thing is centered. Got that going. Uh, let's see. What can I do? Uh, let's inspect, and then I'll just do a move from there. So inspect there to there. 27 millimeters. Nice even number. So I'll just move this component. And click there, click back, and then we'll move it down negative two seven okay so now we are against the panel and i can determine where those holes need to be a line yeah maybe a line is what i should use create a sketch project the face and then extrude yeah that's pretty much what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to project the um the outer radius of that thing and then i can give it the sketch outline yeah, I guess the align tool would have been the better one to use. Oh, well. Whatever. And then I can move those holes over and use those as screw holes. And that's it. That's all we have to do for that. Now I want the full thickness. I got a sickness for it. I, I need the full thickness on this because I want this plug to be strong. I want there to be enough material there that I'm not going to, like, bend it around and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, the fact that the little ears are a little further out from the panel than they need to be is fine. That'll help clamp it all together. So I think that'll be okay. What do you mean it's not in the middle? Yeah, it is. Anyway, let's start a sketch on this face. Create sketch. Yeah, capture the position is fine. Yeah, it's not in the middle. Hmm, weird. All right, uh, so instead, I can reposition that thing and get it in the middle. How should I do that? I guess that's where the uh, align tools are going to come in handy, huh? The Okay. Where are those tools? Align, here we go. So, center point. I mean, I could take that as a center point, although it's kind of in a weird spot. I just move it here for now. Nope, that didn't do it. Let's see here. How can I do this? Uh, well, first of all, let me just move this thing away. And then I'll have to figure out what a good... We'll do like center of there to center of there. And then I can move it horizontally out to where I think I'll be comfortable with it. I think that's the way to go. All right, so first of all, I'm just going to move the whole component. So you... Make sure that I'm not moving it diagonally. You come up here, and then I will use a line. And I'll take the center of this right here. And hope that it doesn't rotate it in a weird way like it did before. And it did! Ah, oh, thank you for that. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now that's at the right height. All right, so now, because I don't want it to be... I mean, it can be right up against that rail, but I'll give it just a little bit of room. So I'm going to use the move tool, and hopefully chat doesn't have an aneurysm. How can you do this? Like two millimeters in, that should be pretty good. 
Although if there's a giant, massive, gaping hole right here, and then two screw holes, and that's right up against the area that's supposed to give it strength, that's going to tweak it. I don't think badly, though. It's going to be close to that support, but I mean, as long as it's got the up and the down on there, I could move it a little bit further out, because the graphics card, I mean, it, yeah, it could probably be like a couple millimeters out. All things being equal. How far is that? That's like eight millimeters out. That's pretty far. Make it 10. Yes, sir. Let me do exactly what you tell me to do. All right. Yeah, great. That's what I'm going to do. Jesus Christ, man. All right. I'm going to make it like five. <laughs> so I already moved it. Well, let me just move it back. Move back, go to the move tool, click anywhere, even though that's not necessarily aligned. Click over there, click back, now it's aligned, and then I can move it negative five millimeters. Ta-da! So, the way that we're gonna put the holes through this thing is we're gonna project a bunch of faces onto our drawing. Take that, create sketch. Capture the position, ready to go. Now I got a sketch, it's in orth orthographic mode, and I'm gonna hit the P key. Hit that P button, comment, like, subscribe, and just choose the outer edge of the back of the plug. And all of its accoutrement. Having the step file helps us have a nice clean, a nice clean picture of it, I guess. Okay, so there's that stuff. I'm going to do another project operation, but this time I'm going to hide the body. Fusion 360, helping you hide bodies since, I don't know, whenever, whenever it came out. Oop, clicked the wrong one. That and that. All right, so now we got all the stuff projected. And that's all the stuff that we need. Going to need an SUV to fit all these backseat engineers, I know, right? <laughs> Believe it or not, I will, I will get this done in my own fashion. We'll trigger everyone along the way. <laughs> I mean, I do, I do have like ten millimeter, but uh, that's, I mean, ten's ten's a little excessive. Ah, I've got this space right here on the back of the computer to use. I don't need to mount it either way. I need to mount it this way because that that is North American standard of having the ground plug face upwards in case you have your dinner knives sitting up against the back of your computer and something unplugs just far enough for something to chop down on it. Actually, to be fair, that's not really the case because uh, that, that plug can't unplug enough to make contact. That's with the uh, the other plugs that you want to have. Grounds facing up because who knows? But but yeah, it's, this is okay. Um, now, should I plan on using the same screws that I'm using for the rest of the case? These are th M3. Yeah, I'll just use M3. Those will be good. They'll be hex. So I'll put I'll put three, maybe two and a half millimeter, because I kind of want this one to be tight. 2.8. 2.8. And then the threads will squeak like they did with the other ones. Two point eight. Okay. Two point eight, two point eight. Take this entire expanse here, and I'm going to gap it by 0.2 of a millimeter. Maybe 0.3. Yeah, we should probably, I mean, I could I could go up to 0.4. Let's give it 0.4 so that we're nice and generous with the dimensions there. So 0.4, and that's going to be our cutout. Uh, these panel mount connectors have that big lip on the other side, so I can I can give it that extra space. Usually I'd give it something like 0.2 and then it would pressure fit into place, but we can be kind with this. I could give it I could give it a half a millimeter if I really wanted to. I think this would be good. Heard it was to ensure ground connection before power was connected, just in case. The the thing is like the posts on the other side are what do that with it. Oh god, oh we're in orthographic mode. Everything oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. Alright. Let me do the extrusions, then I'll explain. Uh, finish the sketch. Extrude. 
and then we don't need to look at this anymore because it makes me sick. This, 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 and this. And we will extrude it. And I'm going to do it the dumb way. And then that will cut it through everything. So there's our panel mount hole. It's so beautiful and nuanced and special. So that's the panel mount hole. And then, oh, and then this fits to it. Ha ha. Look at us. Look at us. We're engineers now. You can't, you can't tell us that we're not. But the thing about these plugs is that they've got the longer pole. They've got the longer uh, post for ground. So that ground connects first. These are... These are actually kind of safer than what, what North America has in their walls because ours are just a bunch of big flat blades that plug into the wall. You can partially unplug them. You can shock yourself while plugging them in. These are a little a little bit safer just because of uh, their, their management of where the dangerous stuff is, right? So, all right, anyway. <laughs> no, that's when I plug in the, um, the 3D Connect, the 3DX Connect. The contact sticks out a bit. I literally just said that. Um, but yeah, the <laughs> flying around the CAD design is what I do with the 3DX connection mouse. That You guys were legitimately getting sick when I was using that. Okay, so now that we've done that, we got, we got a hard part ahead of us. Yeah, I've been a, I've been, a, I realized that while I was talking. I, you know, I, I've been an electrician for almost twenty years. I can assure you, there's no official direction for an outlet to face proven previously in court, but ground up makes the most sense. Well, that's for that's for North American, yeah, fifteen twenty amp plugs. But um, I don't look. I don't think the UK plug is better. It's this massive, obnoxious thing with all of these pointless safety measures in it and a giant fuse and it's enormous and it's built for like people in the 1960s to add their own plugs to stuff without electrocuting themselves it's not a good plug it's not a good plug in the modern age it's nice to have the extra volts but hmm. it's 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 not the end-all be-all design like reddit has has frequent little circle jerk sessions about how great they are but all the plugs installed were uh, all the plugs in this house were installed ground up. I hate it. Heat AC adapters all have to face up. Oh man. Oh, that sucks. Like the power bricks that have the two different size plugs so that the they're controlling the neutral and ground, they have to go upside down. Dude. F plugs are better. They might be. Jacose. Joko is subbing for 23 months on a 12 month streak, dude. Thank you so much. I, dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate all the support. Let's put you up on the board. Yeah, I don't, I don't subscribe to that whole circle jerky, you know, British plugs are the best because they're enormous and they have a fuse in them. And you can submerge them in water and, and gnaw on them if you want to without getting electrocuted. They weigh 20 pounds and they have 7,000 volts on them so that you can drink tea. It's like, ah, that's not... Have you ever seen, like, a British I, iPad, iPhone charger? It's like a, this this eeny-weeny little plug end, and then the giant British plug on it. <laughs> there's, ah, there's nothing elegant about it. <laughs> and then people go, North America only uses 120 volts. We don't. We have two phases going to the house. We have 240. Just don't use it everywhere. And the way we split it means that we don't have, uh... It's less dangerous. <laughs> Jacose going up way down there on a the board. Near Obscure Rare. And RYG and Vamner. And Pyro Freak 58. And scissor me timbers. The no, that's not the Brit shower. Well, maybe there are. Maybe those do exist in Britain. It's the Brazilian shower heaters that are some of the scariest electrical things that I've ever seen. I know water doesn't conduct conduct all that well, but it still helps. And uh, they basically have twisted like butt connectors sitting up above a shower head. It's scary. Can't wait for all wall plugs to be USB-C 5. 
that's something they were talking about. The Brits also use them. Uh, no, thank you. Best plugs are twist lock. Huh. Yeah, I, look, besides, besides the amount of information that I would need in order to defend a particular plug or to calm the internet down. Oh, wow, look at all the banding that's going on there. Uh, I fear we're going to have to figure out how to put a fan in that enclosure. Um, I know enough about plugs to defend some of the other bullshit things that people like to regurgitate on the internet. Because people go and they click around the internet and they, they exhale out of their nose slightly more and they retain this information as if it's gospel. Like, British plugs are better because look at all of these features. But that's not, that's, you know, there's no critical thinking there. You gotta, you gotta think about it a little bit. These are massive plugs that are, so I know just about enough to, to uh, buck up against those trends. I don't know a whole hell of a lot about what kinds of, of AC, you know, wall plugs there are available to any given country or as a whole, or what the latest technology in people who want to replace a standard that's not going away anytime soon are. So. <laughs> We got cheap health hotel rooms in Newcastle and going around drinking beer, whiskey, and gin. None of us dared to use the showers. Oh, because they were janky wiring? We were in hotels that looked like that too in the past, but not quite as bad, I, I, I figure. We still have a graphics card to mount to this thing. How the hell am I going to get that done? Well, there's three plugs in the graphics card, and they're going to barely fit into this space. So... I have not a whole lot of information about the back panel of my own graphics card. I have this. This would be the, the most complete picture of what's there. I have the physical thing that I can measure too. So, you know, but this is the most complete thing that I have. Let me get the IO shield off of my current graphics card. And this is sacrilegious. I mean sacrilegious, because I didn't want to modify this card at all. I'm forced to, because we've run out of room. You know, this this right here, this these shenanigans right here, forced everything over to the side. I wanted to make sure that these fins that were all the way up at the top of this heat sink didn't press up against the side rail here, so they had a little bit of air available to them. But then we decided to use the fan panels that I made like two years ago in order to go into this thing, and... While they look very slick, they are pressed right up against that heat sink. So, I, I mean, there's, there's like barely, it's like a half a millimeter gap there, right? Like half a millimeter gap. If you're not afraid to use your showers, are you really living? <laughs> Says Pivy. <laughs> you guys are nasty. Um, all right, anyway. <laughs> So, um, I've got a little bit of an air gap up here, so I can pretend that this thing is actually going to be doing any work. Um, but this is as far over to the side as I can, I can possibly get it. This, these high voltage, all these high voltage things over here, where, what, where this power supply is creating 300 volts DC, are directly up against the PCIe cable, and I'd like to give them the benefit of the doubt, just give them a little space over there. And then this, I pretty much have enough space for the cable to, to sneak in while the motherboard is all the way up against the side. Ugh, I hate it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to finagle that wire into place and I'm not gonna like it. So we got two components that I need to make still and one of them is uh, basically getting rid of this I.O. shield so that I can get the power connector in here. I mean, the alternative is that I would take this all the way out to here and, like, cover over the audio connectors in order to get a power plug all the way out here, which I've seen people do. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say I won't do that because that, that may be our alternative, but instead I'm gonna try putting this over here and then redoing the I.O. shield for the, the video card. By, by means of explaining myself again. See, the thing is, like, because of the LANs postponing, uh, I don't have to... 
I don't have to jank this together as much, so I'm spending just a little bit more time on it in order to get everything in here correctly. So I want to preserve all the screw holes, all the countersunk screw holes. Um, the distance to the I.O., I don't know what I can do with that. Thank you for your amazingly... Uh, whatever. All right. We got Captain Killjoy in the in the chat here. Appreciate you. I am going to drop one of these tiny screws into this thing. There you go. What do you even know what that is? Do you know what that is? I don't think you do. Anywho. So let's get the IO shield off of here so that I can actually measure this thing. Now, there are a lot of cooling holes in the back here, but there's really not much opportunity for air to flow through here. Uh, let's see. I need... Whoa! Let's drop that on my keyboard, and then there's no telling what, what happens. Yeah, that goes here. Now, I want to keep all of this stuff, like the anchors, for... Well, I mean, I'm not using DVI, but I, I still want to have it on the back of the computer, you know? So I've got to I've got to put all the holes through this stuff, and then I've got to determine what the maximum thickness I can possibly have is. And then... Oh, yeah, two more screws. And then... Oh, I also need this little hoop hoop right there, so... That's eh, going to get a little weird. Is there a nut on the other side, or is that captured? Ah, oh, fuck, there's an actual nut on the other side. Those bastards. That one doesn't. Wait, where where is the other one? That's right there, and that has a captured... Why do they do that? All the way on the edge of the, the board here, they have, they have just a freewheeling nut. And then on the other side, it's got a captured nut. It did it just to fuck with you. Ow! All right, that hurts. Uh, let's see. What do I need? Maybe that's the right size. It's nice to have these little screwdriver hex things because they uh they help you work with stuff like this. I don't think that's the size. It is. Oh, that's nice. You know why it was added later? Do you think they did? I don't know. This seems like uh, premeditated. I wonder what I wonder what kind of like last minute stuff they had to add because of the size of the card. You know, card. All right, there's that, and let's go to this one. I don't know why some computer people can't, like, handle weird new ideas, you know? Like, the fact that I'm fucking with this stuff, like, insults them. Or that I might fail. <laughs> Alright, this right here. Got a weird panel. What a weird panel. Why the why the half holes? Why the it's like 60s like impressionistic art. Very strange. Alright, so. What? Uh alright. Three different IO. They're very similar to one another. I could grab the components, but I think it I think it might be better just to measure them. I think I might just measure them out. I think I might just measure them out and uh, figure out where they're going to sit relative to one another, which would mean I probably would like it to be in its own drawing with its own references. Uh, but I mean, I guess I can just I can just reference it from center. But if I move one piece, I kind of want them all to move at the same time. That's the thing. Mm. How do I want to design this part? Well. I guess we'll just we'll just we'll just roll with it. I don't, should it be on its own drawing on that face? 
It shouldn't be too hard for us to come up with that. Yeah, maybe I'll do another drawing and that will represent... Can you move a whole drawing at once? Because you can probably do a control A operation on it. I don't know. I don't know how to do this stuff. So I'll do it like this. Uh, this is looking the wrong way. Uh, actually, well, if I... What's this? Okay. Yeah, because I want to be able to slide it right and left. Hmm. So if I reference it all from center, moving it right and left. I looked... Oh, and Thingiverse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If the back plate's on Thingiverse, that, that helps us out massively. I didn't even check Thingiverse. I looked at... um. Grab CAD first. 1080 FTW. I don't think of the FTW, yeah. Uh, what if I put a space in there? Probably still no. What the hell is that thing? Uh, no. So that would be... I'm looking for uh, 1080... IO. Backplate. There we go. Hey, hey, that looks about right. So we can take whatever terrible part this is and then project the faces out. Perfect. Download the files. It's probably going to be some some cursed mesh. I know that it's an IO shield. They called it the wrong thing. Scan it. Ask EGVH for the design. These are bad ideas, Nightmare Joker, because I can't get them right now. Like, yeah, let me email EVGA so they can they can just do the 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 J Jonah Jameson laugh. This is this is what EVGA would do if I email them asking to look at asking if I could get the dimensions of the of the IO shield of the 1080 FTW. There it is. That's the reaction. I can tell you that right now. Only that'll take three days, maybe maybe a week and a half, for them to do that to me. Scanning it in can sometimes work too, uh, and then you scale it in AutoCAD. But uh, if if it's on Thingiverse, then that's all I need. No, it's actually against Twitch Toss for me to show the ports on stream. Yeah, it's something. It was a meta a little while back. Everybody was showing their ports, is what I understand. So I can't actually show you the ports. Uh, on screen, Dire Desire. I don't need you to scan and send it. God, you guys are all about reinventing the wheel here. It's I just got the part from Thingiverse. <laughs> I got it, man. It's okay. And I literally have one right here. I have a scanner, too. All right. Y'all are going to make my head hurt. So, y'all going to make me lose my mind up in here. Up in here. Uh, so GTX 1080 backplate files STL. Ah, oh, you bastards. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a a horribly janky um, STL file. But let's give it a shot. Um, now I'm not gonna. Should I not insert the STL? Should I import the STL into my directory and then put it in as a part? I think that's probably the way to go. Maybe maybe. Um, but in the end, all I'm going to be doing is tracing it. I'd rather not have all the janky STL, like, triangle lines all over everything. So I'll probably just end up drawing stuff in the same location. Then we'll have to pick a thickness for the whole thing. So, let's see. Um, yeah, let me just import it. See, what I did on the other one is I imported the actual, like the actual plugs <laughs> to try to put it together. Upload. I don't think that'll work. Oh, maybe it will. To the cloud. Now the thing is, if you're using like the free edition, it might be a lot harder to uh, to do this. 
because I've I've had a relative freeness uh, just importing whatever components and parts that I want to use, <sighs> which is, it kind of sucks. But yeah, if I ever get dropped off of the education uh, version, I'm gonna have to do a lot of archiving, a lot of archiving. Dear God, the scale is completely wrong, and it's made out of Play-Doh. Why is it made out of Play-Doh? <laughs> I hate this. I wish it was a step file. All right, so uh, how do I, how do we scale this? Uh, I can measure it, and then I can use the measurement tools in order to figure out how large it is. I almost feel like just doing this on my own would be a lot easier. Just making my own part. <laughs> but... It's not inch to millimeter, no. It's because AutoCAD does their their file sizing in a different uh, different dimension. You might have found the step file. Let me see. GTX 1080. Ah. It's going to have so many components on it. But that is the step file. Might work. I just want a cleaner CAD file, you know? Oops. Downloading, downloading. Is it downloading? Wait a minute, did I download it? No, it's still downloading. I just thought I would download the thing. It's telling me how far it is. Oh, there it is. Almost there. Yeah, AutoCAD uses a weird one. 10% is normally right. It's how I have to scale. I don't know, those RC car bodies, I had to scale like in weird numbers. It was like, it was like 30 and <laughs> stuff like that. They like weird numbers in there. All right, let me get rid of this. Delete. Probably could have worked with that, uh, but step file, STL files are just so clunky. It's not in use. Oh, I hate it when it does this. If I, like, control Z, can I get back to where I'm not actually using that file anymore? I don't think I can. I, I think all I can do is, like, isolate it. But sometimes those are not 100% dimensions. They usually add it to the description. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is why I'm like, maybe I just need to... Maybe I just need to measure it. <laughs> BIP, JPEG, ten series standard model, IGS and step. Let's do like upload. And I'll just get the step file. Pop it in there. Four megabytes. That's it. Yeah. Always double check dimensions. I can check. I mean, I've got the physical thing in front of me. So as long as it's scaled to the right, you know, as long as they're not distorting it, I can literally just measure this and then measure what I was given. And that's it. You just you just scale it. <laughs> just gotta wait for it to upload here. Everybody wants to pilot the engineer today. I don't know what's up with I don't know what's up with this today, but we'll be all right, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get through this. We'll get through this together.
I've been living off this computer for the past three days and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. What's happened here? Are you, why are you, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there it goes. I had to shake it <laughs> in order to get it to work. Where'd it go? I thought I uploaded it here. Oh, there it is. GTX 10 series standard model. Uh, actually, I'm going to open that first. Let's measure it first. Before I put it in that drawing and lock the files for some god unknown freaking stupid reason. Uh-oh. Brut. Fusion. Fusion. Fusion really doesn't appreciate when you start pulling in files from random places. Ugh. Ugh. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I can't thank you enough for finding this model. It really is very useful. <laughs> Not very useful. <laughs> God fucking damn it. All right. I I guess the back plate might be a texture that they put onto it that I don't have access to in this particular model. Maybe if I could unpack the bit, I'd get uh the IO shield. How dare they list it looking like this? Why is none of that in the... Uh, <laughs> it's the Apple version. The crypto mining variant? Yeah. <laughs> what the... What the... What, uh, pff, fuckers. I am just going to measure it. I'm just going to measure it myself. What a, what a load of crap. <laughs> God damn it. They even have the pictures in here, but then the file that they give you is a burp, 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 burp. <laughs> It's this derpy piece of crap. What the hell, man? Either, uh, I don't know, maybe something didn't, didn't import properly, or maybe they just, maybe they designed it in a different CAD program, and whatever they exported was like, nah, you don't need any features, we'll just give you a box. What's got going on inside? Got a lot of, like, brackety stuff in there. Nah, it's pretty much just the substrate. Okay. <laughs> no, you can ask a question. Don't worry about it. I got the IO shield from EVGA and SketchUp and Colada or STL, but I don't think that's useful. Nah. Don't know much about Fusion. Is there a realistic viewpoint? Um, when So when I use Fusion, I'm using it as like the engineering version of it, where I'm going through and I'm making sure that all the dimensions and stuff are correct, and I'm okay with sort of a... It almost is like a cel-shaded outline of what you're building. I'm okay with that because I'm worried about dimensions and stuff. But in Fusion, outside of the design tab... You can do renders, animations, simulations, all kinds of crazy shit. You can generate d drawings and stuff with it too, for like assembly. So yeah, there are there are realistic views that you can you, you you do ray tracing, um, in order to render your design in three dimensions and it'll look realistic. I don't care about it looking realistic because I'm about to like three print it, so it doesn't really matter. Saw Wudus in here. The, I, I was doing a computer refresh, Wudus, um, doing a computer refresh for the LAN party, and because somebody canceled, I am able to take a little bit more time with it. And so that's why we're sitting here in Fusion instead of, over the past two days, me, like, feverishly cobbling everything together. I was going to use 60 millimeter Noctua fans for the power supply so it didn't scream. Yeah, I know, I'm going to be extra ready. I, I don't, I'm debating whether or not I want to use the... 40 millimeter fan panels that look really nice 
but they're right up against the, the heat sink. And, and you know how hot this thing has gotten in the past, like uncomfortable to touch hot. And then the um, 60 millimeters, I can bolt to the outside of the case. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the smaller fans first. And if they work right, so be it. I'm trying very hard not to go 100% into this and like drill holes in the, in the carbon fiber and run the wires underneath, keep everything clean. I'm not quite gonna do that. Um, but I, 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 need to, I need to print out a back panel here so that I can fit the graphics card and the power inlet. And then I need a front, like just brace, something that's just gonna hold the graphics card in the front so it can't wibble wobble all over the place and break. Then we need to do holes for the motherboard to fit in. I'm not gonna bother with an IO plate for the motherboard. Mesh top again. I would like to cut a piece of carbon fiber for the on off buttons. This will need a couple brackets. Um, I need to revisit the brackets that are holding on the ow, holding on the carbon fiber plate. I just printed out two things for the power connector for the graphics card. And I think when I've done all that, I can wire everything up and actually get this thing running. But uh, oh man, it was a lot of. Uh, I was gonna rush the project and do several marathon streams, but I'm slowing down now. I'm I'm gonna take my time with some of this stuff and get it right. Panels nice, but not a big fan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ADS 200. Yep, that's the soldering iron that I have. I like it. It 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 works, and that's all it does. It just works. <laughs> all right. So this was a bust. It's unfortunate too, because this this had like Wayne Johnson linked me to it, and it had, it had I had every reason to believe that they would have just exactly the panel that I needed in order to project all the faces over into my drawing. But yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, no. It it. She, like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Why did he do that? Anyway, all right. Uh, so this is this is this is bust. I, I'm just gonna measure it. I'm just gonna measure it. A little time with the calipers never harmed every, anyone, right? Except for that one guy. Don't save the save the changes. Oh yeah, and then I wanna I wanna make something that goes around this, to to hold the the brick in place. Why is that an orthographic view? No, it is. Yes, it is. There we go. <laughs> Man, that looked wrong. Like an orthonographic. Why do they think that you want an isometric view of something that's orthonographic? Like, this is not how things look to a normal human being. Orthonographic is, of course, so that if you're viewing it head on, everything has the right dimensions. But yeah, if you go like this, it's like bleh. It should just automatically snap to perspective. There we go. That looks better. Anyway, this is just like I was just putting this together to plan out uh, the the rubber brick that I've got to put in the case. You push some pieces of a board, and they're tight. It'll take vertically down pressure on a point. Uh, mm, I don't know. Lil to mischievous. Lil to mischievous. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, tip plating. Kosaw, thank you for the follow. Uh, all right, so I need to figure out, I mean, I guess centered is the best bet on this. Center it all, everything's centered. Centered from five millimeters from the edge of this. So what I need to do is I, I'm gonna do a new sketch on this face. Oh, I guess I, I can only have the one. It puts me to edit sketch. All right, we'll go to the sketch on this face. I'm going to project this line onto my drawing. Then I'm going to take a... Uh, how am I going to do this? Uh, I guess a construction box from here and take that out. What do we do? Five millimeter? That's the wrong dimension. Oh my god, I hit escape. This small keyboard and doing CAD is is a is a kind of a trip. Five millimeter out from there, and then now I can drop my latest album straight down from there, all the way to the other side. Oh, is that feature not projected? Yes, it is. So what the? 
What's the excuse here? What's going on? I mean, I guess I could do... Could I do, like, a three-point? No, I wouldn't do it. I'm not going to do a center box. That would be dumb. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll just take this, and I would like to go from here to here. Oh, there we go. It's just having trouble finding what it wants to snap to. There we go. All right, so this is our new box. Same as the old box. Uh, and now... I guess I want to center the graphics card on this face. <laughs> center the graphics card. Uh, so I need the I.O. panel here. What is my center? I guess... Is it that? Or is everything off-center? Because I can ignore these, the wings, and I can just concentrate on the I.O. I can center that I.O., and that should that should keep everything in line. So it seems like... Well, let's measure. Put my calipers on it. So, turn the things on. Let's get a measurement here. All the way to the edge. 50.56. Take it to that edge. Mmm. It's approximate. <laughs> it's approximate. So... From center, I need... Uh, but I don't have the center of that box. Oh, goddamn. This thing is just going to be so annoying. But once once we get rolling with it, I guess it'll be okay. What's the overall height of the panel? Because then I'll have a reference. 38... 39. 39 millimeter. 39? What kind of a... What kind of a harebrained freaking... Okay, uh, in inches, it's 1.5 and a quarter. 1.525. 38.9. 39 millimeters. Are you kidding me? All right, fine. 39 millimeters, and then the width of the card. That would be out to... What did I hit? Oh, my iced tea. My Wawa iced tea. I mean, I've got from screw hole to screw hole that I could consider to be the width of the card. Although that means that everything is kind of offset from it. Good old education license. Yeah, I'm, I'm teaching you, aren't I? Teaching you guys stuff. 104? Does that sound about right? Like 104 by 39. 39 by 104. Tack 2? Uh-oh. Are we trying this again? Ah, this one has a water block on it. It looks very fancy. In fact, I have that water block. <laughs> I have that very water block and that very graphics card. That is... It, it, it should have been me, coach. I should have had that in the gaming computer by now. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's download that. That looks like... That looks like... If that has the right back panel on it, then we can just project it over. That'll be much easier because I'm, what, what's going on right now is I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to, uh, like, measure the position of the components so that if I have to, I can adjust it. This panel doesn't have, like, a very strong center point that I can measure everything off of. And with things like Fusion 360, because of the workflow... It helps to kind of think ahead and go, well, what if I want to adjust this? What if I want to adjust that? If you adjust something, it propagates down the timeline. And what I mean is that if I want to go back and I want to change the dimensions of this panel, that's going to affect all the other measurements of the stuff that I put in, assuming that I measured it against the edges of that panel. So you want to have your universal reference point so that your, your drawing and your positionings can scale as you move them. Now, a lot of the time that means going into the drawing and individually updating numbers. If you really wanted to get crazy with it, you would subscribe to my channel. Jamez TV, thank you for subbing. We're going to put you up on the board. So, like, if you really want to get crazy with it, you can use variables. And so you'll say, oh, this side, side to this fastener is this variable. And you can put those in the drawing, and then when you update it, everything updates. Um, I haven't been doing that lately. I should, but I've been doing it like based on 
locations of the objects and stuff like that. And then I would go back in my timeline in order to assert those changes. So if I wanted to change something on the original dimensions, I'd go all the way back to sketch number one, and that would move the timeline back to sketch number one, I'd update the numbers, and then it moves the timeline all the way back to present time. And assuming that everything that I did was compatible in the way that I designed it, then, oh no, we don't have a lot of time. I gotta move the camera. That's a very short name. Huh. There we go, got him. Got him. Jamez TV, you're by blah, 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 blah. Uh, you're by Black Belt 2005 and Pickle Liquor and Corona, Coronavirus. Oh God, I thought that was Coronasaurus. And Sir Bacon, the legend. <laughs> Carbonaceous 14. There's a Wexo in there and a Minimung. There's another jungleist. Your booty shows there. All kinds of good names. I always say that. I say that a lot. What the hell? What the hell am I looking at? What is this? Okay, here we go. Uh, so yeah, anyway, as I was explaining, parametric design, you go back on a timeline. So it helps, and as you get more experience doing it, it helps to have a an idea of what steps typically will function better at what times. So draw, extrude, chamfer, and then yeah, it's it's it gets a little complicated, but I don't know. I like it. It's how I think. It's how I think. Yep, every time you sub, your name gets lasered. And and I'll, I'll elaborate on that. Every time you announce your subscription. There are people. There are people. Horrible people. Ugh, who don't feel the need to announce their subs. Actually, they're they're fine. They're totally awesome. Um, the people who sub and their sub renews and they don't announce their renewed sub, you don't go on the board because you didn't announce your sub. You need to announce it in the chat, you, you know, using the Twitch thing. And then that's the API that we're on. And so that API trickles down to the board and goes in. So if you don't announce your sub, it's not going to go up. And that's okay. Some people like to fly under the radar. But uh, yeah, if you announce it, up on the board. So that's how it works. So if you pay it forward, if you pay it forward six months, you come back in a month, you can announce it again. It'll go up again. It's not going to do all of them at once. What do you do? What do you do? Something at a tier one for eight months saying, okay, I'll announce it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you will. All right, let's put you up on the board. Ba bop. There we go. Oh god, I gotta run and get the camera before the uh, the arm hits it. Well, luckily for us, the Twitch API is like putzing along. Come on, you weekend driver, let's go. Get in the fast lane. There it goes. Boo doo doo! You're going up on the board. Boo yo yo. Boo yo yo. Ah, jeez. <laughs> camera mount's not... It's a little janky. This is my third, like, eight-hour stream in a row. So, <laughs> you guys have to bear with me a little bit. boy -oh -oh, Welcome to the board. You're by T. Earl Grey. Hot. Camara Swee. New York 167, farting peaches, all kinds of good people over there. All right, so we got a different set of step files. Maybe these ones will actually have what I'm looking for. Oh my God, look at all these files. Ooh, these are solid part. Oh, these are good, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. That's right. This is the stuff that I like. I've also been sketching up designs for a PC case. This isn't even... I wasn't even supposed to do this one. This this is the one that I was supposed to be working on. 
This, is a, this one uses 120 millimeter fans on either end, and I'm using the heat, the reservoirs as, or sorry, the, the radiators as reservoirs. Um, I was trying to make it very small, but it turned out to be the size of a normal PC by the time I was done. Stupid water cooling PCs, bastards. I'm probably going to make like the nuclear football PC case. I think that's going to be the next one. Is I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to use, I really kind of want to use the 8020 curved rails. So they're one inch by one inch. I think there's millimeter by millimeter size with them, but they have a curved front edge. And if I do that and I somehow use the right corner cubes on them, I can make the case look like uh, like a nuclear briefcase with a bunch of uh, a bunch of weird computer stuff inside of it. I mean, it's essentially like, you know, huh. talk about being uh, being creatively bankrupt. Uh, this, <laughs> this design is literally just me framing uh, a computer is in as small of a, an enclosure as possible. The previous version of this, which is now a pile of dusty parts in the corner, was uh, referred to as the VCR. I don't know what nickname this thing's gonna get when I'm done it, but it'll be a lot cleaner and it'll hopefully be quieter and it'll hopefully be just as functional. But according to, <sighs> scroll, 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 first time chatter, Kilroy, this will have some horrible cooling and be loud as fuck. So I guess that's what we have to look forward to. First and only message. Uh, all right, so let's try to get this part into here. How do I do? Okay, I do this. Uh, <laughs> I can almost put this in. I'm going to put this in the stream PC folder because this is basically what I want to eventually import into the stream PC. Oh, it doesn't really need to be in there. Okay, so what do we have? We have TI with water block, acrylic top, backplate. Oh no, it's not. It's technically not the backplate, but everybody calls it the backplate. It's technically the I/O shield is what we're trying to import. EK logo plug terminal. I think I already downloaded this. Nickel plate render render RGB holder terminal 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 mounting screws thermal pad. Nope. Is it going to be backplate? It might be backplate. Mr. Big 95, I lurk a lot, but don't comment when topics are out of my league. That's okay, man. It's look, it's there's intent. I'm not I'm not trying to like single out first time chatters. It's just like intent, you know? If your first chat is somebody like being like this is going to fail and everything you do is bad. It's like, "All right. Thank you for that." So is, is it going to be the traditional backplate, or is it going to be the I.O. shield? What's up, Groovy? How you doing? Do I have to shake the window again? I did. <laughs> Shaking the window completed the upload. Yeah, get, get good, streamer. Right? And I hate, I hate that my clapping back at uh at that makes people reluctant to chat <laughs> oh it's the regular back plate shit what was it no no i need the io shield delete all right so let me put something else in here some people just need to did you try to say vent and you missed and you went went my voice cracked during that but it's not a good uh upload so there's like there's like EK terminal, EK plug, EK GPU jet plate. Jet plate? I'm curious now. I got to know what the jet plate is. Before I incorporate these into the design, I need to take a look at them in in the CAD because we made that mistake with the other one and then I couldn't delete the other file, which is bad because if you guys are using the free version of this, you only have so many parts that you can import. I was going to say that regardless of you clapping back. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is the plate that goes in the water cooling stuff. Yep. Get out of here. Bleed. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, that was the jet plate. Terminal? 
There's plug and there's terminal. Internal O-ring, logo, terminal cover. M35799, what does the screws? Nickel plate, render, RGB. I think it might, I think I might just have to take the whole thing in and figure out what part it is. So let's just take the whole thing in. I wanted to avoid doing that, but. So do I want the SDL slam or do I want the IGS? I'm going to do solid slam. Solid assembly. Uh, select required parts and sub-assemblies. It's not, it doesn't tell me which ones I need. What it, but what do you want? Do it anyway. Oh. Does that mean I need like all of it? This is going to be a total fucking mess. I'm going to have to... Water block standoff, terminal plug, this, this, that, backplate, acrylic. Would you ever consider a stream outdoors, like, for a project? Yeah, I could do that at some point, but... Not, not anytime soon. See, now I'm gonna have all these parts I'm gonna have to delete. Oh, man. Alright, let's just get started. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> it's gonna totally screw up all of my, uh, my files here. But if we can extract just the one that we want. Yeah, I would love to do like a car work stream, but moving the equipment up up to the garage would be very difficult for me to do. Um, it would keep me up on maintenance that I've needed to do for quite a long time. What do I still need to do? Like, what do I need to do with my car? I need to replace the springs for the tailgate because the tailgate kind of falls down. It's a station wagon. Um, I probably need to, oh yeah, I need to take out all of the ABS sensors and make sure they're clean. Because uh, when the car starts and I start driving, I get ABS kickback. It At very low speed, it will the ABS will fight me. And I've replaced the, or I've looked at the ABS fuses and stuff and everything's fine with that. It really seems uh, like it is a bad sensor. Because if I go straight, it sometimes doesn't trigger. It didn't used to trigger at all. And if I turn a little bit, it'll start freaking out at low speed. So I'm pretty sure that the that the sensor itself just got fouled up. I don't do gardening. I don't do that much gardening. Oh my god, please hurry up. Please hurry up. It's not like I have bad internet. Come on. All I want is that IO shield. But yeah, I think what I need to do is take the ABS sensors out, but those ABS, the bolts, the, the cap head bolts that keep the ABS sensors in, they love to break. So. Yeah, we'll hope those are not a terrible design so that the sensors rot onto the hub. They don't, but they do get kind of gummed up and they do get kind of stuck. Good look at the harness. Yeah. Yeah, I think just look at, like, removing the sensors just to get, like, iron filings off of them would probably be the best thing for me to do. I think. Um, the car was not an outdoor car before now, before I've had it for the past couple of years. Um, and I did have trouble, I still have a little bit of trouble with the windshield wipers, not quite getting enough power, I think, from just generally being outdoors. I think maybe the, either the motor contacts, as you guys have said, or something else internal like maybe the motors are just worn down this is from 1999 you know oh my god this could not take longer please 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 upload please i feel like rob oz were like downloading a 50 gigabyte game like before playing it on stream i think taking the sensors out if i mean or or now that now that everybody's vaccinated maybe i can pin down my friend who has the um the OBS reader thing. Like, he's got the full software suite for, like, his generation and my generation of, of BMWs. So he we could hook up the computer, and then I could roll the car around, and we can see which one of the ABS sensors is throwing weird stuff. And then I can just directly replace it. Or, if none of them are doing weird stuff, then I can start looking at other solutions. I found a thread... I found a thread where somebody had replaced, like, everything, like the ABS module and all the stuff, and it was still happening. So I'm a little scared. I think, from what I understand, it'll still pass inspection, right? 
Have you seen those farm bot home kits for automated gardening and food? Yeah, those, those are pretty neat. That, there's the one that is just like a gantry that just goes across and it, it does the weeding and the planting and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Failed. Ah, you bastard. E case project, blah 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 blah, two and a half screws. What? Okay. Show me everything that you've got. I don't care. Oh, okay. Just thinking about it. All right, this part right here. This is all that I need. This is all I desire. In fact, just that face is all I desire. Copy of GP blah 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 assembly. PCB blah blah. blah. Let's, let's click on that. Is it gonna highlight it? No. 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 Man, why are they all copy? Copy of. Copy of. There's a, there's a couple parts on this. There's a couple, there's a couple parts. There's a few parts in this. Oh my God. <laughs> when they said it was a render of this, they, oh boy, they were not kidding. I am going to immediately delete this once I find this part. Cut. Uh, new. Paste. Now listen here, you little shit. <laughs> where's my, where's the thing that I cut? Damn it. I can save it as its own file, actually. Don't save. Somebody followed. Hold on. Get to you. I'll get to you. Moto Dirt Bike. Thank you for following. Can I ask you something? It depends. What do you want to ask? You already did just ask me something. Control Z on that. And then I can export or save copy as. Oh boy. Maybe not save copy as. Copy of happens in SolidWorks when people go full idiot and virtual parts. This came from SolidWorks. <laughs> okay. Can I save? Hmm. If I save this as, save copy as, I think it'll give me just that part. Will a 1050 Ti or a 1070 Ti work at an HP Pavilion Windows 7 PC? I do not know. I don't know, man. I'm not. I'm not smart. Chat will know. Um. Let's see if that does it. Ha ha! I am the wiener! That looks very close to what I have. It's just they have an affinity for triangles. We don't have triangles here. Although I could... <laughs> I could project all of that and actually have triangle cut out. I might do that. I might do that. I might do that. I might actually put... I might actually put little... Actually, what I want is hexagons. I want hexagons. Yeah, that's a that's a Google thing because I'm not I'm not I'm not poised to answer those kinds of questions. All right, we got the back plate. Let's 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 get the hell out of here, Scarper. It's it's the it's the fuzz. Delete this. Please let me delete this. Oh, thank fuck. All right, good. All right, so we have just the back plate. So that ended up working out, although it was... Boy, was that clunky. And I'm just going to delete that that snapshot. <laughs> Actually, I should probably keep it. I'm not really going to need it, though. Check your power... Yeah, the power supply. Power supply, the motherboard. I don't know about Windows 7 running a 10 series card. Windows 7 running a 10 series card, it can do that, but you're not going to be able to use DirectX 11. What the 
Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna cough. Hold on. Uh, when that Wawa iced tea hits you just right. <laughs> Listen, one pipe is for wind, and the other one is for iced tea. Yeah, that hit me hard. Whoa. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck. It's like most of that went into my sinuses and then dripped into my, my larynx. So my nose, the, the back portion of the nose is just like, hey, man, I bet this triggers your cough reflex, like dripping little bits of iced tea down. Woo. Okay, I'm good. DirectX 11 is fine. 12 is only available on Windows 10. That's what it is. DirectX 12. What is this new module that computers are going to need now? Like the something or other, like 2.0 module? I forget what that thing is. Here, hold on. I can, I can get reference of that. I've never heard of this before, and suddenly it's a thing. Yeah, TPM 2.0. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, I don't mean to cough on stream. Why do we have tire pressure management modules in, in computers now? Like, what, what is this? People are scalping TPM 2.0 modules. And I guess I should have bought one uh, months ago or something. But I don't think my computer has it. It was a thing for Windows 10 as well. It just wasn't required to update. Trusted platform module? What is this shit? <clears throat> Generic eBay, <laughs> eBay, Amazon, HP Pavilion desktop. You'll not fit that card in the system due to a variety of... Oh, this is different. That's a different subject. I installed the leak Win 11 on a, P, on a PC without TPM anyways. Yeah, what's the, what's the deal with that? I don't, I don't know. I've never heard of this before. <clears throat> yeah, that's what... Okay, hold on. This is all, this is all the stuff, people are basically just repeating what Linus said, which is to check in the BIOS whether or not you already have TPM 2.0, because it would be, for the most part, disabled by default in the BIOS. They're not required. You'll need one to use BitLocker without entering a password to boot. Ow, oh, I'm just, whatever, I'm not going to use BitLocker then. <laughs> it's like, what the hell. All right, anyway, we got our back panel, and it's a nice, simple drawing oh look at that oh look at that there's no weird triangles in the middle of it uh i wish more people would include step files i know they can't but having step files and using fusion 360 are they go one on one and it really helps out all the rc car bodies that i had to deal with are are all not step files and there is a way there is a way to actually wrap a mesh around the step file and get it to work a little better. But I mean, like, this is as boiled down as I think it can get, uh, which is perfect. So, of the screws, I don't know if I have those big ones to worry about. I don't. There are these big anchor screws in the middle of the card. This guy and this guy right here, I don't have to worry about those. Only people with something to hide care about BitLocker. Hey, that's not a good way to... That's not a good actualization of, of security, right? <laughs> God, man, that, that iced tea hit me hard. I don't know what the fuck that was. There's a little rubber, like, support thing over here. The authorities can bypass it. God damn it. It's like... <laughs> why even... Why use it? This thing right here. You're terrible and wrong. Yeah, don't... He's just joking, man. He's just joking. Everybody's just memeing. Don't get too bent. But yeah, the uh, this thing right here, I'm going to have to figure out where that is. So, I need I need to put a, a trough somewhere in this, and I'll have to locate it in reference to everything else. Man, is it already 3 o'clock? Holy shit. I feel like I haven't gotten anything done. It's been three hours. 
I do have a 3D print that just finished. Let's take a look at that before I do more of the file stuff. A support clip for a specific case type. No, it actually, it's just for this. That oval right there. That's all it is. It just goes right there. I don't know why EVGA did it. I can't speak for them. I don't know why they decided to have squares instead of triangles. I kind of want hexagons to match the side panels. If I can reverse engineer however I did those triangles. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's USB-C. That's what it is. You guys got it. There you go. Chat, you got it. Chat's always right. All right, let me get the 3D print off of the board over here. Oh, it's nice and cool, so it just peeled off. I expected... <laughs> <laughs> I expected us to be done this panel by the time I had to do. That's all right. All right. All this stuff needs to go in the garbage. Eh, eh. And then this is going to be the new. Oh, uh, what happened? Must have rolled up some, some material. Well, I don't need to redo this part. So I guess I got two of them now. It's this part that we moved some of the features of. So I gotta get the support material out of here. These tweezers, by the way, the these like really grippy tweezers, they're for like they're for like beauticians and stuff, right? By the way, I have all this this space on my desk and I'm forced to use this much. Uh, but anyway, so these beautician tweezers, the ones with the real stumpy fronts, they pinch really hard. They're really good at removing tiny hairs. They are amazing for getting rid of PETG support material inside of screw posts. I find a lot of the stuff that I build has the four screws on the outside to hold it together. And then these tweezers do an extremely good job of peeling that stuff out. Okay. So I haven't cut any of the panels for this yet, but since we did the modification on this, what other modifications did we do? I think we just did the one thing. Yeah, print it out pretty nice and clean, and now it fits on perfectly. Yes, good. Good. We gapped the screws larger, and then I also gave more space. So let me see if I can put this thing together. Now, this is still, I still need to cut out mesh panel that's going to go inside of these, and it'll give it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a, like a solid look. And then I've got all this space in here. I could do like an LED thing in there if I really felt the need, and I might. Uh, that's the that is the last last thing I'm gonna do though, is LED inside of that panel. Let me get uh, screws. Hold on, Revlon. I don't know. These are something. <laughs> the label's all screwed up. Uh, where did the what did they do with the laptop screws? I had them here. Put them there. There. Where did I put them? Where the laptop screws go? Oh. They're hiding. They were behind stuff. LED current meter. <laughs> I would need to break the... Uh, I need to break the connection, though, to do that. It's too It's too small unless I design my own PCB. So, no. I would maybe get, like, a, like a candlelight LED and put that in. Which fasteners did I plan on using for this? Are they these? Yeah, they were the tiny ones. All right. So now I can just put this together and put it with everything else, and I'll I'll get back to everything else. The thing is, the, I mean, the, the panels aren't going to be terribly visible. That's the other thing. They're not going to be totally visible from the outside, so... I think at most I could just put, like, a little... Something cute. Lights up a little bit. Something just a little festive. Not an LCD. Not an OLED display. Remember, we're trying not to go completely overboard with everything. I'm trying to give it everything a look, but I'm not going to totally overdo it. Maybe I should do mesh panel on the uh, the backplate, too. All right, so there's that. So instead of the 
Sugru uh, blob. Now I have... Is that, a, is that a hair hair or is that a plastic hair? What the, What is that? I should probably take this on like a whetstone and just make it m match up a little better. Or I could I could print it again when my printer's in, in slightly better shape. But yeah, so there's there is the block. It's a little bulky for what it is, to be honest. But it's basically just gonna protect that PCB and then I'll have a mesh panel, mesh panel, mesh panel, and it'll look like basically like the the thermal like the thermal camera. Yep, there it is. Hey, that looks good. Now, if I want to, I can probably replace these with longer wires now that I have time. But that is actually the height that I want the graphics card to sit at, too. There's barely any room below that circuit board. So this is actually up against the ground. Um, that could actually... I, I would actually accept that as one of the tie-down brackets for the graphics card. That could be like a $30 part. <laughs> well, if I wanted to make the, like, a part, I would I would make it a little thinner and then not do the mesh panels in it and do, like, a logo on it. <laughs> but I wanted purple and black. Um, I, I might make just, like, a slight, maybe just, like, a center bracket for this. Or if we do here on, on the two sides and then it'll support it underneath in the middle, and I'll have it screw in from below. That'll be another 3D print. I'll have a screw hole, screw hole in front of the graphics card, and then we'll have the bracket come up and hit this and go underneath it as well. And I've still got the, the plate underneath, but uh, that'll hold up the back of the graphics card. I still need to figure out what the design of that's gonna look like, and I kinda wanna have it re resemble the, um, the thermal enclosure. But for right now, we need to do the back panel for the graphics card as a whole. Not as a, not as a, not as a, like, not H-O-L-E, like, W-H-O-L-E, like, like, whole, like, the whole thing, like, not like a, not like, head like a hole, black as your soul, it, no, it's, it's like, it's W, okay, uh, anyway. Get some stuff out of the way here, go back to the computer. So, we extracted this out of a, out of a completely ridiculous model for the EKWB on a the EK water block on a 1080 Ti and now I can apply that to no no not that not that why am I not did I close it no it's over here uh this one no oh, we're we're actually done with that I can close that I'm gonna save that yep 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 okay so our back panel our new back panel. So now I'm gonna pull that file over into here. This is not that file. Can I delete this now? You son of a bitch. All right. Mm -mm. Did that, no? Okay, drag and drop. Why can't I? Did I not save it? Maybe that's what I didn't do. Save it, close it, go to here. Oh, because I'm in I'm in the sketch still. Whoopsie. Okay, now I can do this. Ba bam. Alright. Keep that over to the right angle. Uh what direction is up? Well, this is the back of the computer. Why is why is fusion like the for some reason the orbit view has been very strange for me lately. So that is the wrong way. Or wait a minute. Think, 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 think. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about. Yeah, this goes 180 degrees this way. Yoink. And then power sits to the left. Oh, that might be wrong. No, graphics card goes in, yeah, that way. Okay, yeah, so this is correct. Hmm. <clears throat> And now I guess I need to use assembly in order to put it together. I just wanted to initially import it. Gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I game. 
<sighs> okay, uh, let's see. So how am I going to, like, none of the faces on this thing really strike me as being like, where, where do I find the center? <laughs> like, how do I find the center? How does that even work? EVGA has the power link adapter? What is that? Is that the one that goes around the card? Yeah, that's the one that goes around the card. It like loops around your card to make it nice and clean. That wouldn't really help me. <laughs> that would put all the plugs in the front. I would put them all up here. It's a neat thing for your typical, uh, typical computer, but I made my own. Look at the size of this thing. I don't think it really needs to be that big, EVGA. I know you need to move a lot of current through that thing, but I can't wait for computers just to go to 12 volts, and then you just have big 12 volts. Big 12-volt energy. All right, um... This is not in the middle. I hate to break it to you. Forty millimeter. And I don't know where I'd measure it to on the other side. Uh yeah, I don't I don't really have a frame of reference there, do I? The middle is is like right around here. Twelve will only hard hard drives. I mean, for me, it's like the well. I don't know if power supplies are going to allow larger, uh, like smaller gauge cables to carry more current. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. Really, thirty eight point seven three five. What what does that even mean? Uh, because I can find like these bent down areas. I could count those as being the span of the card. Everything about this is just janky. Maybe I just need to eyeball it into place. I would like it to be based on something though, you know. Like maybe equidistant from here to from here to edge to here to edge. Maybe that's what we need to do. I don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Oh, those are all the points that I can move from. Uh, let's choose that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all very jank based. All right. Wait. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we can use this. Um, this doesn't have the DVI on it. There's no DVI on this. So I guess I guess we can get the four ports from it, and then I'll need to figure out where the DVI is. Oh, yeah, it's probably using inches. It's probably an inch standard, because the computer internals are are inch standard, because they're, they're old. I had a rant about 12-volt plans. It's not thought out? No. That's not good. No, look, I'm not gonna... I'll just plan out where the DVI is. I don't need to... I don't need to go that crazy. We just need to... I just need to get this thing into position. And I would like it to be in the center. So what I can do is I can take the center of this face right here, and I will center it on this line, and then I'll try to try to get an equidistant from this edge to this edge and from the other one to the other edge. I think that's my best bet. So what I need to do is I need to take this part and I need to go to a range. Okay, I need to go to a range, a line, component. Are, are you counting this as a separate component? What's going on here? All right, from here, Cool. Yeah. That is... Uh, you got it. You got it, AutoCAD. You figured it out. There we go. <laughs> From there to there. Now it's centered there. 
And then the question is... I mean, maybe that... Maybe this thing is center. I'm starting to believe. It felt like this was center, though. Especially considering the I.O. here. So, I'm gonna okay that. And then... I will use a move command in order to move this into position. So what I need to do is reconcile the distances here. I hate to do it this way. I wish there was something that I could snap to in order to figure it out. But oh, we got too much Z fighting. Hold on. Move component. This thing. And click here. Click back. Now my axes are, are straight. And I can just pop that up a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. So let's see. I need distance from here to here. Actually, when I did the arrange command, I should have chosen the bottom one. What? Who? What? What is that? What? That's not. I didn't. I didn't click. I didn't click that. What do you think I clicked? Inspect tool. Uh, let's see. Uh, so I need to do this distance from here to here. What the fuck? Why does it do that? It's like, hey, here's a totally unrelated measurement for your viewing pleasure. Hope you had fun. <laughs> what, what the heck? This line to this line. There we go. Now it doesn't let me show the XYZ. That doesn't help me at all. Great, it's 14.436, but that doesn't... That, I'm not going to take geometry into this. What the... Hmm. This, is really, this is really pissing me off. <laughs> ah, pfft. Usually it... Maybe if I maybe if I set the positions here, it'll be better. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't care. There to there, and then it just goes all the way over here. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why are you doing this to me? Yeah. See, my thing is, I want to measure from the I/O connector to the I/O connector. I guess are, these cuts are in there in case they're that special kind of DVI that has a little lock pin on it or something, right? I don't know. I don't need to incorporate that into this. All right. Oops. Zoom in over here. The Z Ranger. Thank you for following. I mean, I guess if I do point, I, I don't know what it's doing when it does that. Why do you do this to me? I, I bet you I can measure the other side, though. I bet it's just confused. There to there. And then it measures off in the other direction. I, I don't even know what to say about this. What? What is this? What are you measuring to, AutoCAD? What happened here? I don't understand why it can't... It can't figure this out. Like, I guess I could project the faces down, but then it doesn't let me... I need to center this thing first, and I wanted to center it... I've got it centered vertically, so that the graphics card is going to be sitting in the center of this whole thing. Now I need to center it horizontally, right? So what's the deal? Why is it so stupid? It's not letting me measure from the... Because, remember, we're not worried about... We're not worried about... Uh, actually, I, okay, there's another way that I can do this. Sorry, I'm, I'm in my head right now. I'm just thinking about this. Go from all the way over here to all the way over here. 86.36. Remember that number. I'll put it in the calculator. 86.36. Actually, that's not going to help us, is it? 
Can I do like, uh, I can't do that. This to center. I was going to measure this and then figure out what the other span is. But I don't know the distance between there and there, and I don't know. Oh, God. This thing is really messing with me, guys. It's really messing with me. I don't know why I'm not able to measure the distance that I want to measure. Because I should be able to go from line to line, and I should be able to get a measurement. Instead, I get a measurement that goes out to some random location. Point to point. It just doesn't... What is this? What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, give me that XYZ delta. That'll help. Actually, it did help. 13.542. That's weird. It just like broke geometry. I don't I don't know what's going on with that. So let's go this point to this. Nope, close that. Hold on. Inspect this point to that line. No XYZs. Ah, you bastard. All right, so point to point is what we really want here. So if I go zoom in, make sure I get the right point. Point and then point. 27.08098. <sighs> okay, so what is it? How do I calculate that again? I'm 13.542 and then 27.098. I take the di difference between the two? No. Difference and then half? Yeah, difference and then half. So 27098, 13542. Let me just hit equals here so I have the number in front of me. 27.098 minus 13.542. 13.556 divided by 2. 6.778. I thought you never to ask. So yeah, now I'm moving it over that way. I, it's, I, man, basic math. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how difficult that is to do while streaming. It's difficult. There, I said it. Uh, okay, that there. And just because I don't trust it to be at a weird angle. And then I want to move it a little bit this way. Just to see what axis it's on. And then we're going to move it 6.6.778. Really clunky. Welcome to CAD. Boop. That did not appear to move at all. Did that look like it moved at all? Did that move at all? I'm going to control Z. Oh, the mm, the thing behind it moved. All right. Um AutoCAD really likes to select bodies instead of components. It really likes to do that. When you're working with components on an assembly, it really likes to revert back to bodies. And in that case, it will select the wrong thing and it'll screw you up. So 6 0.778. Haha. -ha. All right, so now our our panel has been aligned properly. Now I could plan to use that panel, but how is there space for that? Wait a minute. It really didn't look like that was possible at all. I feel like everything's going to be off by a little bit because I remember when when I had this thing positioned and I had it centered and everything. Hold on, I'm just going to plug the back panel back in. There just simply was not room for that to exist. And here, it's showing me that there is. That's what streaming's perfect for, education. Makes the teacher dumb so we can keep up. Well, you know, I try to, I try to stress that, is that I'm not, I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not smart. Everybody else can... Oh, you know what it is? It's because this panel is absolutely not centered on the card. That's what it is. 
I'm moving the card way too far to the left. That's what it is. Ah, son of a bitch. So here, look at look at how this. We were assuming that the panel was was the whole span of the expanse of the card, right? It is not. It is not. This panel doesn't even approach the maximum power of the card. Look at that overhang. So basically, what we just did is move the card way too far over to the right. Son of a bitch. All right. So how far over from there am I going to need to go? Well... One end of the card is here, at this notch. The other end of the card, I can measure from the notch to the end of the card. And then I can determine what the center of that is, and I can center that on the thing. If that's going to work. Because then I'll know where that thing sits. Oh, God, this is all this is all very complicated. <laughs> this is all annoying and complicated. And it's all very asymmetrical. Any games interest you on the Steam Summer Sale? No. Um, I I bought uh, long the long drive, and I've been meaning to stream the long drive because it seems really fun. Thank you, Pharos. See, um... Professionality is is one thing that I try to stress around here. Try. Um, <laughs> in everything except for the project. Yeah, Lord Squeak, I hate to break it to you. Um, okay, so... Uh, pfft, I'm, I'm... The asymmetry of this thing is really killing me here. Because, like, we need... I have a space here, and it goes from... it. The space goes from the edge of the power supply all the way out to where the motherboard is. We measured that. And now I want to make sure that the graphics card can sit in that space properly. But we have this big cable plug-in, right? I got Hades. I'm going to try that out. That sounds cool. You know what I can do? I can just place this back down there and I can measure to this, this notch right here. I think that'll give me an idea of where I'm going. So we're going to control Z our way back. We're going to run away from this with our tail between our legs. And we'll control Z back. Thank you for following, Pharaohst. All right, so we're running away. We're running away. I'm going to control Z. Now we're back on that line. That's actually not the line that I want to be on. TBH. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Blah, 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 blah. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I think I know what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to take this part, move it. I'm going to put it up in the sky. That is absolutely not. Why do you why do you reselect bodies, AutoCAD? All right, move copy, but we're going to do components. I'm going to do this piece, and I'm going to bring it up there so that I can look at it. And then I'm going to go to assemble. Are we in? Okay, we're in perspective. Good. Assemble, and then I'm going to go to... Not assemble, modify. I mean, the assembly contacts also help you put stuff together, but... Um, and then I'm going to select the bottom piece of this so that our, our plate is going to sit out on top of everything. But I'm going to select it so that that little... Where are we? We're in the void. I'm going to select it so this little piece is, is flat. You see that little arrow piece? The four little uh, target things there? So once that's like that, I can then go over to here and I can select this edge. Select it like that. And then I'm going to twist it into place. And we're going to leave it there for right now. Okay. You could align your camera on top and take a screenshot, then scale to... Why? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why? What? Can you not see that I have a 3D model of the panel in CAD right now? All right. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of... I've seen a lot of people playing Hades lately, and it seems really cool. Um, but I can't, I can't even figure out what I'm looking at when I'm looking at that drawing, when I'm looking at that, uh, that game. Right? It looks fun. I don't know what it is. Is it, is it roguelike? I think it's roguelike, right? I've been meaning to get back to playing uh, Isaac, The Binding of. 
All right, so if that's there, and the motherboard is as far in as it can go. All right, that's in there like that. It's all the way up against the edge, front edge, the back edge. Won't be able to get to all the USBs as a result. And then this thing sits here. How far away is the edge here to the center of this thing? So, calipers, without disturbing it, go inside radius to inside radius. I can give it more, I would like to, but 23 and a half. Well, approximately. Hold on. The back panel wasn't... Damn it. <laughs> I gotta do it again now. Hold on. I gotta do it again. It didn't work. At least I have the parts in front of me, and I'm not just, like, planning on ordering them at some point. With the uh, 3090, I was designing it without the 3090, and so I was like, where does this stuff go? Why? Okay, this thing is like, it's like popping off. Stop it! This thing sucks. <laughs> Let's do it live. I gotta hold it. Get a good distance there, because I want I want there to be a gap there, because that's high voltage, and I really don't want to I don't want to mix my my digital signals with my high voltage anytime soon. I'll probably put like an additional piece of captain tape there in order to just kind of hold it hold it apart from itself. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to squeeze the uh, oh there it goes squeeze the um. Data cable through this part. 24.1, okay, 24 millimeter. We're gonna, we're gonna take that number. Let's roll with that number and see what happens. So I'm gonna move this 24 millimeters to the left. Move copy, components, this. Oh my God, so many triangles. There, there this way, and that'll move 24 millimeter from the post. And you can see why now I needed to put, to, to make this panel is because we couldn't, I would have to cut the ears off of the, off of the IO panel. It would have been a disaster. So anyway, we got that finally, <laughs> finally. And so now I can do a drawing that's going to be the cutout. Now, giant cheeseburger that I ate for lunch is trying to now digest the rest of my body. Uh, so now what I want to do, I don't want, I, I don't really want another drawing for that face. I guess I could. I could do a drawing for that face. It looks like that line that I made, this line here is totally pointless. Totally, totally pointless because of the asymmetry of everything else. It's like, I can't, the graphics card goes all the way to the edge of this panel. So, so we can ignore that line. I guess we will go back to the sketch. We'll go back to the sketch on the face. Oh, but it's going to... Yep, okay, okay. Because of because of the way AutoCAD works, everything is on a timeline. So what I need to do is I need to right-click, and I need to edit sketch. And it takes me back in the timeline. Son of a bitch. And I can't project onto it. What the... Okay. Can I do like a new sketch on the face? See, this is why this is why I need a new sketch, I guess. But I don't really want to do a new sketch. I want it to be one continuous part. So I guess what I can do is I can take this component insert and I can move it before that sketch existed. In fact, put it all the way back here. And then it reset the position. Isn't that awesome? At least I remember the number 27. Let's control Z that. <sighs> All right, uh, capture position. Which sketch is this? Okay, so I'm going to move this sketch forward. There we go. So now I can edit this sketch. There we go, and our component is in there. So I had to, I had to mess with the timeline. 
They're messing with the timeline again. Has anybody told you you look like Wozniak? I don't think I do. Google images the Woz. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm thick. We're both thick. But I don't, I don't think there's much. Garber. Resubbed. Two months. Is it raining? I think it's raining. Huh, doesn't say there's rain. F. Carber. Or F. Carber. Let's put you up on the board. I know. If your fusion drawing gets gets old enough, it starts to become like the Terminator timeline. And things just kind of start randomly happening. Yeah, it's definitely raining out. All the weather prediction crap that we have nowadays is just terrible. <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, have they... Maybe Uncle Bill will know this, but have they put up another weather, weather satellite to make up for the one that we lost like in the early 90s or late 90s or something? Didn't we lose a weather... I, this this could all just be conjecture and rumor. Didn't we lose a weather satellite at some point and all our weather predictions suck? I think it's also because, uh, like, like uh, big, big corps buying up all the good weathermen. <laughs> all the good weather people in the world. That's just all... That's all rumor that I hear. I don't know. F. Carver, welcome to the board. You're by Ludricio. And this shit is so funny. <laughs> There's so many sats. Oh. There's a lot of brouhaha about 5G frequencies messing with water vapor observations. What? What, the water vapor, the frequency at which the water vapor detection satellites were, or radar was running? Interesting. Blame the models? Yeah. Yeah, I guess the really good models are owned by other other operations yeah that is the minimum size of the font and the font is determined the font size is determined by how many names are already up on the board the board has so many names up on it that it's starting to become a little dicey as to whether or not it's going to place the names okay so uh why are we viewing this oh man my all the faces are all over the place. All right, so we need to project these. So P. And I just need to start selecting these little these little pieces of stuff. No, no, not that. We want the lines. Boop. 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 Zoom in on this. I selected the wrong thing. I just want the lines. Just the lines. Nobody gets hurt. And then you have a... Uh, which one do I want to grab? I think I want to grab the inner radius. Inner radius and outer radius. Then I'm going to have to, like, taper it. Or I could just use a normal screw on this. I'll select the inner one, but I'm not going to like it. Actually... Yeah, all I need is the center point from that, and then I can do a like a screw hole operation. That was a little summer rain shower that we just had. That was nice. Almost makes you not want to be stuck in a basement designing a back panel for a computer. Almost. Almost. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the I.O. slots that were in this 3D model. They look to be, the 3D model looks to be about the right size. I mean, all the dimensions that I've been getting from the thing have been just, just fine. So it's been scaled properly. It was a uh, step, not a step file, a uh, IGES or whatever. It was the right kind of file for AutoCAD. So everything was in the right weirdo units. Uh, and so the scale is on here. So I've got the, the appropriate scale for all the holes in the I.O. panel. And now I can start playing around. I can, I can project these onto my drawing, and then I can extrude them through the case, and that will give me the appropriate I.O. holes and locations. Now, it doesn't have 
it doesn't have the DVI connector. Dun, dun, dun. But what we can do is I can just make that. I can just make the DVI connector. DVI is a fairly old standard. I could find either a connector and I could put the connector onto this or, or I can just, I could just wing it. All right, so those are all the features that I want to pull in from this panel. And that's it. That's all I want. Boop. So now I got those. So now I don't even need that thing. There we go. So those features are what... Oh man, they're hard, to, they're hard to see. But yeah, I could extrude those one for one if there's enough of a radius around them that I think the 3D print's going to be able to do it. But I think what I want to do is expand them just a tiny little bit. Elder Goth. I've seen Elder Goth before. Have I seen you in other streams? Are you... Oh, wait. What happened? Oh, I... I went into a folder into the wrong view. I'm like, are you from somebody else's stream? What are you doing here? Um, I've seen that name before on, eh, it could just be a coincidence. I could just be like pushing two names together and thinking that that's you. So anyway, Elder Goth is saying it's, it's the weather modeling. The European model is more advanced. Uh, something to do with better modeling of a power plug. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> fuck you. Um, Euro supercomputers have better plugs than a fuses in them, but they're also the size of your face. Yeah, I've heard I've heard it has to do with the privatization of the weather stuff, but ah, okay. Anyway, right click, select loop. Yeah, I don't know. Nope. So I mean, I could extrude that straight up, or I could give it. I could I could put a radius on that. Let's put a point two on this, just because that's what I'm doing for everything else. And at point two seems to be a snug fit. These I know are are supposed to be gapped. Why can't I? Hello. Oh, weird. Okay, I guess I have to like travel with it, and then we'll put point two. Now this I want to be a snug fit for the screw. Oh no, but it goes into yeah. So we want to we want to give these a gap as well. So everything gets a point too. Because the three D print, I don't know. It's not off. It's just uh, the thickness of the filament and the the um, the slicer. It plays weird games with your uh, with your dimensions. So for my setup, I found if I want something to go through, barely fitting, I need to make it point two larger than I think. And if I want a screw to go through it without colliding, it needs to be more than point two. I'm gonna give those point two because I think maybe that will um, point two of a millimeter. I think maybe that screw hole is already supposed to be kind of gapped. So what's going on here? Why didn't I'm just like randomly selecting stuff. There we go. Continue them around. It actually has been pretty fun to be designing the parts for the computer like this. I've wanted to do this for quite some time. Um, the only issue is that I don't have a computer while I'm doing this. I only have this one. So I've been working on this almost non-stop because there's nothing else for me to do but work when I'm at this computer. I haven't even looked at my email in three days, which is weird. <laughs> I'm going to have to check my email when I'm done streaming. Email's kind of useless nowadays anyway. Go. Do, do, do. Grab that, grab that. One, two, there we go. All right, everybody's got gaps around them. I got all those holes. Now I get to figure out where DVI is. I don't hang out on any particular stream, so not sure where you, you'd have known from me from. Found your stream a couple days ago. Enjoyable content. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I feel like I, it could just be, like, it's probably like deja vu, right? All this stuff is like deja vu. I probably look like the Waz because I'm like hunched forward because I'm doing CAD work on a stool. Er, er, I gotta stretch. 
chat, stretch your legs. Stretch your legs, make sure you don't get blood clots and fucking die. Um, yeah, it's probably because I haven't been, like, I, I've been, this profile makes my neck look enormous. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like hunched. So, it gives me a Waz profile. All right, back to what we're doing. Where in the hell is that DVI connector in relation to everything else? It is just out there, man. It's like the far edge of one of the connectors is... How am I going to figure that out? <laughs> how in the hell... How... Hmm, hmm. That could not be more difficult to figure out where it is. It, like, here, look at look at what I'm up against. Uh, we can go to we can go to this one. This is a little close. Can you get further out? This is as far as we can get. All right. So I've got the features of this thing planned out because we were able to import this panel and figure out what the distance was from this right here, from this point here to the edge of the rail, which gave us the positioning of this thing. And we centered it on that panel so that it had plenty of room. Because so I assume that this thing, you know, the center of this panel is the center of the graphics card. Like that was a safe, that was the only safe assumption. But then you get into the features and it's like, here's this connector and it's got a screw hole here and it's a certain distance from that horizontally. But then the DVI connector is like offset from that a little bit. Sorry, the, is that DVI? Yeah, that's DVI, right? I'm getting that right. And then you've got the center of the DVI connector that meets up to Probably nothing. It might meet up to that face, but I can't really be sure. This screw hole of the DVI connector down here, maybe, maybe that hits the edge. This edge of the connector, maybe. The height is completely bonkers. It's not centered to anything, nor are the connectors centered to any of the other parts of this thing. I had a scratch, but I hope, oh, that's really loud, sorry. Oh boy, how am I going to figure this out, guys? I mean, let's figure out where the center of the DVI connector is first. So, take the measurement of end to end. Really? That's probably an inch, isn't it? 1.075. Ah, uh, what is half of 27.35? Alright. 27.35 divided by 2. Thirteen six seven five. That puts us here, which has <laughs> no relation to anything else. Absolutely no relation to anything else. Ah, uh, go fuck yourself, you stupid connector. It's like just a little bit off from. Oh my god, that's so annoying. It's not on a ribbon. It's it's on a massive Look at this thing. A massive armored component. I'm wondering if a lot of the cost of this card went into buying this thing cuz it's got it's got like a support beam. It is it is a monster. Look at this thing. Jesus Christ. It's like it's like the card could fall on it and your floor would break. And it's in this totally bonkers location. What about uh, this edge? Eh. Hey, that's close. That's really close. We might be able to get it with that. The top edge of the... DVI connector. It's not quite there though. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I deal with it? 
Computers suck, you guys. Computers were a mistake. I'm not a gamer. I never was. Look at look at that. How is that? Mm. Yeah, you get out of here, short lurker. I'm not a gamer. <laughs> I think that's against Twitch toss. <laughs> that's true. I could use the STL file in order to get my bearings on this thing. That's a good that's a good point. I just really don't want to pull that STL file in there because it already ruined my drawing, but the STL file has it. And it's still in my files because I can't get rid of it. Man, that is so annoying. Look at these. What are these anchor points? These giant anchor points that are just, they're just there. I can't do anything about them. Uh, I don't want to use the SDL file. I don't want to. It's so janky. Computer. Backplate. Huh? Oh, you know what? The other reason that I didn't use the STL file was I didn't want to scale it because I need to go into the, the mesh editing mode in order to scale it. Honestly, I'm seriously miffed that it is even there. Yeah. When DP or HDMI to DVI adapters are a thing, because the stupid DVI part has to go on the second row, that means single slot water cool cards. Yeah. I think saving them, blah, blah, blah. Asus workstation boards without dismantling the cards. Seriously damaging. It's real estate value. Yeah, it's it's a it's a whole mess. It's really annoying that they're there. Um, I bought this card because EVGA was like, "Hey, guess what? The card's available," and that was during the first card crunch. So, the first card crunch caused by mining. Um, but I need I need to get my bearings. I need to figure out how I can. I guess I could just measure from an edge over here. I was just hoping there would be a little bit more of a definitive way for me to get an X and a Y on this thing. But I guess I'll just have to go from top edge to that edge, and then this edge to this edge. I'll just have to straight up X, Y it, and then I can just do this. And also, actually, if, if you're wondering, they sell punches that you can buy where you drill the two side holes and then the punch will punch a DVI connector shape in metal, in cheap metal. But the DVI standard looks like this, even though this is not what that follows. We're going center to center. 41 millimeter from end to end on the connector itself. Cut out dimensions. We got 3.2. What is the what is the one point? I guess that's the the turn radius or whatever. I could just make a square. Greenly punch, is that what they are? Yeah, they're like super expensive. I, at some point I was like, man, I should buy one of those. But no, it, it only makes sense if you have to like produce a bunch of uh like a ton of products. Oh, dash line indicates space required behind panel. I see. That's what those are. I wonder if they use the space behind the panel size in order to figure out where that should go. Or if they just took a piece of sheet metal and just put it on top of the thing and uh, in CAD had it cut out all the features. It's probably what they did. Whoever designed the motherboard or the board itself was just like, ah, just fuck it, put them wherever. Let's use this weird connector that's like super armored. It costs $80 a connector. Okay, I'm just looking at the dimensions that I need here. How do they... Is this everything is basically from center? 26.1... 1 from here, but they don't... You have to calculate that, I guess. Oh, what an annoying thing. Okay, um, so if I if I try to find the center of the DVI based on the distance to the edges of the panel, 
maybe that's the way to do it. So we know that the panel is 27 millimeters from that edge, and then I can, I can throw up a line for that. So back into our sketch. You get out of here. This thing, don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. What we do need is a line from here that is 27 millimeter. That's going to be that little dimple in the panel. And that needs to be a construction line because I don't need that. I don't need to use that line for anything. That's just going to help us get our bearings. So the height from the edge. I can't do it based on this center. Hold on, I'm trying to th I'm trying to think. Well, I can find the distance to the center by by doing from edge point to, you know, whatever those other points are. So, let's start out with um horizontal, which I actually I don't need this line that this is going to this is going to make it confusing. I'll come in from here and we'll go first 27 why is the dotted line showing up on the right? What's that about? Huh, weird. 2, 7. No, 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 no. What do you... What? It, what? Escape. Fuck it. Don't do it. Uh, I'll draw a box like this. There we go. So that one's going to be 27 plus. This is where things are going to get a little weird. 27 plus, uh, so we go from that to the first edge of the panel, first edge of the DVI, the center connector, and I'm going to give that, well, it says 23 and a half. I don't know if I want to trust that. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I can do it like this. I do it flat so that I can see through. Yeah, 23.5. What I'm what I'm doing is I'm placing it on top so that I can see through and I can see a little air gap. So 23.5. So 27. Well, 23.5, and then I need to subtract from that. I forget what the I need to add to that. 27. Wait, what was that? What was the width of the thing? What was the official one? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go back to my reference material. That'll have an even number. That is not the, an even number at all. 26.1. Are you kidding me? It was like 27.5. So we'll go uh, 20, 27.5 over 2. Actually, well, let's take 27 over 2. 2, 7 over 2 equals. That's not the right number at all. My calculator just lied to me. What happened? A bunch of stuff moved. Oh, yeah, you know what it was? It was the, the history of the calculator on the second monitor. Anyway. 2, 7 over 2 is 13 and a half. So we add... Okay. 27 plus... Twenty-three point five. Nope. 2, 7 plus 23.5 plus 13.5. Twenty-seven, twenty-three and a half, thirteen and a half. So that's one dimension. Now I need to find the height into the center of that D sub connector. So I'm going to measure it from this edge. So I'll just go from because we are on the top edge, and that's oh, that's the top edge of the panel. I should have done it from maybe the center. 
So I'm going to control, I'm going to copy that equation that we just made. Hit escape. We'll go from the center. I'll go from the center of the panel to the center of the D sub because we know it's the center of this piece here. And I think I can get that approximated just enough. Oh my God. Unsoldering unused ports. Um, you know, <laughs> you can do that if you want. Height from center to edge of connector. I need to figure out what the, what half of 9.6. Let me double check that number. I get 8.8. .8. Now I'm going to use my number. 8.8. 4.4. So we're adding 4.42. 4.4 added to center of this panel, just about to there. Four and a half. 4.4 4 plus 4.5. Hopefully that gets close enough. So 4.4, 4.4, 4 plus 4.5, boom. That's where the D-sub center is located, right here. It's cursed. Um, and in order to make a D-sub port, I mean, what they did is they just made a box. They made a box and then they chamfered the, uh, the top and the bottom, or filleted. Filleted. Wait, no, not filleted. Filleted. Uh. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Mm. You know, it's like a minefield of terminology. They made a square, and then they rounded the edges. And they more rounded the edges on one side than the other. That's it. And so I know this dimension, and all I need to do is take the half dimensions from... Well, I'll, I'll do the measurement, but I, I know where those are supposed to be located, the centers of those. So we can do those first, those three millimeter holes. And that is just a function of... I wish there was a center line. I don't think there is, right? There's just line. You can't make a center line in AutoCAD. I could do like a center square, but then it, it has a height to it. So 32.5. Man, they make it so easy. 32.5 over 2. 16 and a quarter millimeter. So construction line, 16.25. You could get fancy and use mirror commands, but I find that that takes more time than... Oh, wait, that's supposed to be a construction box. You turn into construction. There we go. 16.25, and then we'll take this, go this way. 16.25. And then we get non-construction, 3 millimeter... On construction, oop, missed, I missed. On construction, three millimeter. There you go. Okay, so those are the two holes on the edges of the D-sub. They might need to be smaller, I'm not sure, but they're definitely cursed. They're definitely not, like, the same center as that. It looks close, which is exactly what we got from our, our thing, so. So our square, I gotta do this measurement again. Our square is... 27.35 27.35 over 2 equals 13.6 again I already have that number up and then 4.4 13 by 6 by 4 well actually wait a minute if I do I can I do the whole dimension when I do the center square the center rectangle never mind so that's okay so I just 27 <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I I feel like you might be able to make a no-height rectangle box. 
three five and then take uh we can i'll i'll fillet them here i guess and uh yeah i'm gonna go with two millimeter i'll just go with whatever you want me to go with man dimensions were driven oh no wait what happened Yeah, it looks like it, it killed one of the constraints, but I don't know which one. I think just this bar right here, which is not used for anything, so it's fine. <laughs> I guess it could explode if weird stuff starts happening. Uh, it's going to warn me against that, but that's fine. Uh, so supposedly that's where it where it is. And if I come back to this, I can alter any of these dimensions and I'll have the ability to move stuff around. Does it look about right? Yeah, it looks just about right. I mean, the thing that's really going to determine whether or not it's right is I'm going to print this bastard and we'll see what it looks like. So, <laughs> and from there I can tweak and tune all the numbers. I'll do a, do it iteratively, although it's going to be a, a major waste in plastic if, uh, if I print it every single time. But I need to figure out what like a thickness is going to be for this. What the thickness for this is going to be. So now that I've got that sketch, I can extrude these through the face. Extrude your face! So I gotta make sure that I'm choosing my my outlines here. AutoCAD is really weird with the way that it handles um, construction lines. Because like when I ha turn things into construction lines, it no longer recognizes it as being a continuous outline of something. And I could turn all of those inner radii back into construction lines, and they probably, like, I could turn them into construction lines now, and they wouldn't interfere with this, so it would be a lot easier for me, because I would just be able to click stuff and have it, have it, you know, do the operation. But I don't know. Whatever. A little extra clicking never hurt anybody. It's looking like a graphics card back panel. At least a rudimentary, uh... A rudimentary design of one so I am going to push the panel in from this side so I probably need my five millimeter radius again damn it <laughs> damn god damn it all right fine we'll go back to this drawing I thought I was done I thought I was done but they pulled me back so I'm gonna take this dot right here and I'm gonna project that onto our drawing take you and I project you and then I'm going to draw a five millimeter box out of construction lines. I'll do it up to the edge. Oh, we still have this one. Well, I'm gonna delete that one. I forgot to delete it before, but I'll take this up to here and I'll take it out five millimeters. Doop, five, boop. So from there and as a radius around everything else, I am going to make a cut in that I'll push in I missed what I said and missile detector center and that was wait that was recent uh, not terribly recently though the tape monkey thank you for following I love how it doesn't snap down here there it goes I think that's right what is this Create and continue. No, 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 no. It's like, hey, new feature. I'm like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. All right, so now I think I can do an offset here. No, are you not projected? Is that what's going on? Yeah, I don't think these lines are. Uh, so project P, this, this. Ah, and I'll uh, later on I can play around with making like a like a vent hole. Project this, this, this. Okay. 
I guess those weren't projected, so the, the software was like in and out about whether or not it should uh, allow me to mess around with it. Give me that radius. Here. Uh, you know, like, you know, like, you know, fine. Escape, no radius, no projection. I'll take that and I'll draw a new box just because this thing is being a jerk. There, how about that? What a what a jerk. Actually, wait, I should go back to hold on. Drill Z. You gotta give it time to think too, because it's starting to There. From here. To here. New box, who dis? Okay, there's that. And then the thickness of these panels, oh, I don't know, I don't know what that was, so I'll just uh yeah, that's right, the horrible UI text, because it was like, there were a lot of really good memes making fun of that. So what I want to do is I want to take an inner radius from this box, and we'll give it, you think one millimeter, maybe two. I think it needs two. Two's getting a little close, though. Yeah, what is the okay? I gotta I gotta measure an, uh, uh, a DVI cable because I do use all of these. So what is the distance from the side of the DVI cable to the to the side of the or to the metal from the metal to the side is one point seven. So yeah, I guess we'll give it a one millimeter. That seems like so little though. Well, as long as it's got. Let's see, let's see what that measures up to. Why is that not driven? What, what do you mean not driven dimension? That's so weird. Ugh, I gotta be careful with all these. Uh, this drawing is starting to become a little too, uh, too complicated. Okay, that's got two millimeters. All right, so that'll fit. It'll still fit. Finish the sketch. View the sketch. And then... We extrude the sketch from here down something like, is two millimeters going to be too thick for this? I don't think so. It might not be very strong. Um, so that would be eight millimeter down. Minus eight. Neg equals eight. No, minus, minus eight. Leaves us with two millimeter. And then I can figure out whether or not I want to put, like, vents here or something like that. <laughs> Always just enough to fit, but not enough to tighten the screws. I'm going to have to find new screws, I think, for this. Hopefully they're metric. That or I'll have to just chamfer these and I'll print it on that side. A fairly simple panel. So now that I've done all of that... Before I get fancy with it, I am going to print out just that. Just a test of this, and then I'll be able to adjust the dimensions as I need to. Now, hopefully I've thought about things far enough in advance that I'm going to be able to rearrange things properly and, you know, make sure that everything fits snugly and, and professionally. That's the tough part, and that's where the iterative design comes into, comes into play here. Arrgh, stretch. Okay. Um... You know, and I can figure out what kind of, like, special things that I want to do with the back panel. I mean, the back panel's fairly boring. Two millimeters is a little bit thick for our, our buddies here. Because, I mean, most of the stuff is designed to go through a panel that is much thinner than that. But most of the connectors, when they plug in, aren't very thick. That looks backwards. Shouldn't the extrusion be on the other side? What do you mean? The, so, okay, um... What's happening here is that... Actually, you know what? I don't need to avoid these corners. Huh. I could make these solid. Hold on. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Cancel. This extrusion, I can take... I can actually take this and this, and I can extrude that with it. I didn't need to do that. Because there's no corner cube over there. 
but no, it doesn't need to be on the other side. This is this is just um, the the graphics card. I can I have room to go forwards and backwards. If I wanted to line up with the I/O panel on the motherboard, I need it to be like this. It needs to be uh, set internally a little bit. Would be kind of cool if I could do the same with the motherboard. If I could place another vertical rail in there and then do the same thing with the motherboard, and then I could poke a bunch of holes in it, but. Not using GPUs for AI, I'm using them for crypto. What? Oh, using them for crypto isn't power efficient enough. Profitable right now? Yeah. Nope. No, it's not. It is not. I will double check. This sits so that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's spatial thinking, you know? Spatial thinking, and I understand. I understand what you mean, because sometimes I get that stuff wrong, too. But this sits with the, the tab outward like that. And then these two are what was getting in the way of the power plug over here. I hope I have another one of these, one that I haven't sanded the, the ears off of. But no, that's a, that's a worthy double check. That's totally worth double checking, just in case. So yeah, I've, everything is facing the right direction. I'm going to give that a print. It's going to be a little bit weird when the, uh, printing this stuff is a little bit weird because of the um, this overhang is really annoying to deal with. <laughs> it's really annoying to deal with in a 3D print. But we got to because once that fits appropriately in the trough, in the uh, the, the gap for everything, then, uh, you know, it's, it's good to go. Now, that is three. I need to I need to actually make that less than three because that won't fit in the gap if I do it like it is right now. I already know this because there's a little bit of expansion on the um on the print and stuff. So let me let me get a quick measurement because I don't have the old files. I'm gonna get a quick measurement of what what I turned it to up here. And actually, my 3D printer functions a lot better than it used to, but it still has trouble with bridging. So. This looks pretty close to what it was. Let's just see what number I used. Two. <laughs> I made it two millimeters. And it fits snugly enough. So yeah, let's do a... Let's go back to that extrusion. I'm going back in time! My god, the, the space-time continuum can't handle this. So I'm just going to take it and do that, and now it's two millimeters thick. Now, hopefully the overall dimension doesn't need to be finagle. I don't need to I don't need to mess with it too much, but SLA, I hope. PLA will warp during GTA V. My PETG laughs in your face. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. At your temperatures, you think you're warm. The 80 degrees Celsius the card's gonna reach doesn't get anywhere near the 250 that I run uh on the extruder, so it should be good. Uh I'll try to put a vent in there so that air, some air some air exchange can occur. Um, I have some concerns, but I think I think PETG is going to be able to tolerate it. Nice looking back panel. That was a lot of work. That was a lot of work just because everything is so ridiculous. It's all about plastic alloys. What? I want to print it in carbon fiber. I'm going to have them make this out of uh, aluminum. And I'm going to get these corners so tolerant that if you look into it, you'll go blind. I'm going to get NASA on this one. We're going to EDM machine this thing. Yeah, what is the what is the glass transit? That's a good point. PETG. Glass. Trans oh, it looks like we've done this search before. Hmm. Scholarly articles. 105. That's ABS. 80? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, there will be airflow. The back of the back panel of the card doesn't reach ADC, even if the inside of the card is 80. <laughs> I hope. 
I can't do it otherwise. This whole project will fucking eat itself. I mean, if 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 it if that is the case, what I'll have to do is reinvent the back panel so that it still uses the back plate and then move the power connector to the right. So we do have a contingency plan if, if things go wrong, but... I can deform PET with my tap water. Look, man, I don't know. This thing isn't going to run cold, so we'll see. I mean, it could be an unmitigated disaster, but that's what we're here for. We're here to learn. <laughs> Plus, I got six fans on the fucker. Hopefully, it'll be able to cool itself off enough. And my graphics card, I believe, reaches like 83 during uh, heavy gaming. But that's internal. That's at the chips. That's not at the very outside. We're talking about a place where we have... A place where we belong. We're talking... We have um, the heat spreader distribution thing here, right? And then we have a gap where idle air is going to be flowing into and then we have the plate so i think it'll be yeah shorty says it'll be fine i don't trust shorty i think he killed a man once but i you know i think it'll be okay but there there have been there have been people who just like showed up and went your project's gonna fail and you suck and then left and it's like <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks internet i appreciate that i always ready to Always ready to peg me down a notch. I mean, notch me, take me down a notch. Notch me to peg me. Wait. Uh, yeah, anyway. All right, so that's ready to print. I am going to export that file. Is my printer currently... Yeah, I cleaned it off. So I am just going to simply right-click on that sucker, and I'm going to tell him, hey, actually, wait, first I'm going to rename it. Uh, I-O plate one. My first I.O. plate. I'm going to save that as an STL. And I don't touch the settings, and I literally just save it into a junk directory on the desktop. I open up Prusa. I clean the bed. And then I go into the folder that contains my prints. And because I am a stupid boomer, I just drag and drop. There's my I.O. plate. Now, I have set my supports to come in at an angle. What? Oh, yeah, I forget. I always forget how to move stuff in, in the different CAD programs. Now, my, my printer, my printer personally, it prints really well on the right side. On the left side, it does not print well. So, zero, zero is the front left. So, I need to move this. I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. And actually, it might print just fine, uh, you know, on the other directions, but... I don't trust it. <laughs> so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bunch that right up against the side. And I have put glue on this half of the printer. Why is the view mode... Is the view mode ortho in... It looks like it is. How do you change... Can you change that in here? All these ortho views are really creeping me out. You know, like when... Oh, Murder Bits! Murder Bits is gifted a sub to Fart Bridge. How you doing, murder bits? Uh, <laughs> it's like when you look at a perspective and the lines are going outward as, as things get further away. And it's like, wait, that's not right. I don't know how to change this view, though. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'm going to slice that and I'm going to immediately send that to the 3D printer. And I'll have it start printing. All right, so we are putting Fart Bridge up on the board. How's it going, Murder Bits? How you feeling, man? If you guys are interested in somebody who has a similarly professional setup, game streaming, keep an eye out for when Murder Bits starts streaming again. Hey, Destiny, how you doing? Fart Brigade. Sorry, I read it as Bridge. My brain works good, and it does good things sometimes. Um, yeah, Fart Brigade, welcome to the board. We build in computer. We are indeed building computer. Uh, I still need to figure out the wiring for all of these. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what's going to be coming out of... Yeah, that is cool. Yes, it is. Audio on my rig is... Died? What? I need to throw a new rig together soon. Holy shit. 
Uh, can you do like, uh, can you get a focus right? Can you get external audio on it? That's what I do. So if my focus right dies, then I'll have a little shit fit, but at least I have internal audio to rely on. Oh man, all that support, all that support material. This is going to be a lot to print out. Um, the bed has only had one other print on it so far. So I think that should probably print nicely, but. What are you talking about with sand? What is this with sand? Crystalline structure to stress relative to large dimensional changes. Huh? Oh, you guys are talking about printing with sand in order to make it, what? Hotter? <laughs> sand annealing. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Um, can I change my view to not be orthonographic? Or is that just impossible in the software? There we go. No, wait, that doesn't, no, 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 no. 3D preview, print host, printer settings, blah, 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 platter. Yeah, I don't know. One minute, my UDO, uh, my audio, <laughs> my uh, UDO, sorry, put a space in there. Uh, Nexus stopped working, except through one rear port, toss link and optical front port are like, nope. But I don't know what, yeah, audio setups are always a trip, so. They're so frustrating. Is there a view thing on this? I guess not. I guess you're just stuck in ortho view. God, I don't know how people get used to this. This is not what things look like. But I, it has its function, so you can look directly down on stuff or on the side of stuff, and you can line everything up properly. But, man, it's weird. Really messes with your head. Uh, all right, anyway, um, I think I'm out of stuff to do, guys. I think I ran out of stuff to do, because... Um, the only other things we would do is like is like the wiring and stuff like that, and I'm not gonna push myself that hard. Um, we've still got a couple more projects with this thing, but it's going along pretty uh, pretty steadily. The things that I still need to do are, I mean, making that look good is not a huge requirement, but it's something that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut out the little panels to insert into there. Um, making something to hold up this end of the of the graphics card that's easy to do now that i know the height from the rail at the front so all i need to do is figure out what the height from the rail at the front from those bottom screw holes on the panel that we imported is and then i can design something that'll go in the back and it'll possibly you know have a similar purpley look to this thing i would like to have this thing on brackets but i'm not terribly i'm not married to that idea i can just i can just tape that down for now i need to surround this thing with a 3d print and then make a similar fashion of panel for it so that it blends in with the look of everything else. And I don't know how much room I have around this to design it because it still needs to be able to plug into here. I don't want to remake this cable. So that, that tweak and tune this piece, which will be revealing as to what I need to do with the rest of it. Drill holes for this so that I've got the motherboard mounted in there properly. That mesh panel, I probably need to create. Actually, I can use the mesh panel from over here. The top mesh panel I have already. Front mesh panel, I need to put another vertical support. And then I want to have a carbon fiber panel that I need to drill out, which is going to be the dustiest thing in the world, to have the two, ah, to have the two buttons on it. And then I think I need to stop working on it because <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, this is a scratch-built case, uh, and I'm sort of, I'm sort of drawing on lessons that I had from the previous case. So I'm using a bit of 3D printing and stuff. I've got a custom-built power supply that creates 52 amps at 12 volts, and then I have a car adapter supply that turns that 12 volts into 140 watts for the motherboard and all the remaining goes to the graphics card. And then I've printed out a the little graphics card power adapter case. I'm printing out a back panel because I also need to put the power power connector here on the back panel. So the 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 motherboard and the and the power connector are on one panel and I'll need to put a support in back there to hold that up. There will be no I.O. panel for the motherboard, although I could make one later. 
considering I will have all the things that I need in order to do it. Uh, should that be a black panel? Should that be a purple panel? Maybe that'll be a purple panel. It could be an orange panel. Then everything would be loud. Uh, loud colors. These is blinding. I was thinking at one point that I would actually be able to do a cool... Do a cool, like, carbon fiber inset panel like this. So it'd have, like, a radius around it. That would look really cool, but I need that air exchange now. Because I've actually cut off a lot of the air exchange. This is, listen, I was going, I was going to get a modern system and water cool it. And it turns out they, uh, they stopped selling uh, graphics cards. They just, they, they uninvented them. So the concept of the graphics card is a thing of the past. Like, we don't do that anymore. Uh, they can no longer be bought. They can only be posted on TikTok in these videos where people have hoarded like 50 of them. Um, so my modern system build, which was going to be water-cooled and use a lot of these same concepts, uh, I, you know, that would have been, that would have been what, I, what I did, right? We would have gotten into some cool stuff. I was computer modeling a lot of it, but uh, it never happened. I really love the look of having the carbon fiber panel like this, but it's not going to be very strong. I would love to be able to do that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it mesh because I need, I need all that air exchange. The top is going to be mesh. The back is going to be open on one side. I'll have some ports on the finished uh, back panel for the graphics card. That side is closed. The bottom is now closed, which is new. And I need this to be a mesh panel desperately. So I may, I may mount the mesh panel similar to the way I did the bottom, though. So they're up against the edge. But then I need to like cut them cleanly and I don't want to do that. I, I, I'm struggling with my own propensity to go way overboard with these things. Yeah, I think what I want to do is I'm going to do a vertical panel here and put another, another vertical maker beam piece. And then this I can mount in a similar way, but that'll hold up the power buttons. So, and that'll be carbon fiber just because I have the material. I wasn't about to do the cutouts for the back. I would I would have loved to do the power connector and the graphics card ports with the carbon fiber, but I, I don't think I can cut out those shapes, guys. I don't think I can actually manage that, especially in the carbon fiber, especially as messy as it is, cutting something out like this, unless I have, unless I have automated stuff to do it. Of course, then the graphics card would have to push up against the panel, which is fine because it's, it's carbon fiber. It can take the heat. God, that would be so cool. No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do it. Oh no, you guys are troubleshooting audio in the chat. Jesus. Ground through pre-production models sent out to reviewers. Yeah, uh, Linus Tech Tips is the one with all the graphics cards, right? <laughs> This is impressive. Where's the water cooling? Yeah. Audio does come through. Voices don't. What? Oh, weird. You got some weird problems, man. All right. Yeah, Codex. All the usual suspects, huh? I really wish I could... I, if I could do more complicated cuts in carbon fiber, man, I would love... I mean, I could, ugh, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't humor this. I shouldn't humor this. If I could actually get the carbon fiber on the milling machine and I could clamp it down, I could use AutoCAD in order to figure out what my X and Y positions for all the drill holes need to be. And I could automate that sort of, you know, the, the, the human automation machine, the, the meat puppet drilling all this stuff. And then I could file the holes down to be the right dimensions. I really shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't humor that. No, because that's too much work. If if I could see and see it, I would, but I can't. Um, okay, so we're gonna stick with the 3D print stuff <laughs> and the grading and all that stuff. Um, I'm kind of out of stuff that I can work on right now. That I, I, you know, I need to take a break and I need to work on this stuff without stream going on. Because I think all the lessons that I've imparted to you guys here, I, they get very repetitious as I move into other parts. Um, and then a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing now is basically. Yeah, he, HNC, Human Numerical Control. <laughs> they, they taught the thing... Uh, anyway, 
I can't I can't put thoughts coherently together now. <laughs> I am I am getting pooped. There's a controversy for you. Um I'm gonna leave you guys to the rest of your weekend. I'm gonna continue to babysit a 3D printer. This monstrosity sitting just on the edge of the shot. Um, and I'm gonna keep tweaking these parts until they fit. Uh, and then I will come back to you guys on Tuesday. Pooped is the new Twitch meta. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> what did I say was the new Twitch meta earlier? I had something. Anyway, I'm gonna be back on Tuesday. Tuesday! And if I still have this to work on, which is kind of looking like I will, I mean, we've made a shit ton of prog progress, right? It's going steadily along. I, th I think we have a couple streams with it still, but... I, I think we can get this done. I think we can get this done. I can get it plugged in. I'll get it plugged into a tiny little screen, and then we'll run, like, uh, I don't know, some benchmarking software on it, I guess. We'll put it on a tiny little screen, and we'll run some benchmarking so that we can get this thing hot and see how it, how it reacts. Oh, and I still need to clean up the circuit board. Ugh. And I need some kind of a dam between... Uh, I got a lot of work to do, guys, but, but we're... This is basically my entire focus until I finally have... Uh, a gaming computer again that I'm proud of. Prime 95 and see if it catches fire. Hey, that knocked to a cooler. The one you knocked to a cooler is actually pretty good. And it's sucking in uh, cool air from the room and it's puking it out, basically back out into the room. It's just right out of that side of the case. All right, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, weekend streamers, is anybody around? Who dat, who dat, who dat? Louie, what's he doing? GTA, Five Fries. Oh, that's right. All those boys are doing Arma. That's right. That's right. I don't know. Sick Ab is editing, or not Sick Ab? Sorry, Fanboy, Imaginary Fanboy. Sick Ab is is doing World of Warcraft. I'm I'm not. I'm just gonna end. I'm just gonna end. Make an entire case out of baby fans. The tempting was, it was uh, the temptation is there, right? <laughs> Twitch overclocks would be an awesome stream to watch. Rabaz did that once, and he crashed a bunch of times. When he got his thirty ninety, it was I mean he had a two two PC setup, so when it crashed, he was still able to keep going, which is what I have. I don't know if I'm gonna pipe this directly into the Elgato. I think what I'm gonna do, I have that tiny little HDMI screen. I'll plug that in, and we could just put that to the side and have the computer run. Even though it'll be rendering it at like two by three pixels, it should still be able to get kind of warm, right? We'll see what it looks like on thermals too. That's always fun. That's always that's always the fun part. Um, and then it'll melt down, and there will be a big spark, and my graphics card will die, and then I will cry. I will cry on stream. See you guys on Tuesday.